hit all the buttons. I've hit all the buttons, but I didn't... I didn't hit the right buttons in the right order. So preoccupied was I with other things. All right, we're going to play Sin here in a minute. Uh, Sin, Wages of Sin, specifically, the expansion pack. The first expansion pack. John Blade is back with a new problem. New enemies to fight. And here's what's fascinating. Uh, this game was developed by 2015. A uh, pretty short-lived dev studio, all things considered. But a very important one. Because uh, I'm going to read about this. This is super cool. 2015 Incorporated was founded by Tom Kurtica in 1997. He assembled a team of developers by researching people who were participating in the FPS mod community. After months of working online and mostly communicating via ICQ Instant Messenger, his team created a Quake mod as a playable demo to show off their talent. I wonder if that's available anywhere. That would be fascinating to, to play through. Anyway, Kurtica sent the demo to Activision, who was so impressed with their work, they awarded 2015 a contract developing the expansion pack to their upcoming game titled Sin, developed by Ritual Entertainment. So first of all, the fucking hustle, man. Get a mod, like make a mod, send it to a publisher, and then they offer you a contract. Fuck yeah. Kurtica moved all of his team members to Tulsa, Oklahoma to begin work on the expansion pack of Sin, Wages of Sin. Seven developers who spent over six months online creating the demo met one another for the first time. Three of the seven developers lived in a house rented by Kurtica where the living room made up the development studio. The team was Tom Kurtica, Ken Turner, Z Zied, Zied Rake, Carl Glaive, Benson Russell, Paul Jury, and Michael Boone, who Kurtica relocated from Tasmania, Australia. So they made Wages of Sin, released in February 1999. Uh, just two years, two years after they, they founded the studio. Diaku, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, so then Spielberg wanted to get into video games. Let's see here. Okay, that's right. So Spielberg wanted to make Medal of Honor, uh, even though Trespasser didn't go so well. Although I should play Trespass, Trespasser on Steam. Stream. Because that's an experience, but yeah, let's see. Uh, they originally approached id Software, who was at capacity at the time. Gosh, that was 2000? They were making Quake 3? Man. They kind of went the other way. That's so fascinating. Okay, so id Software made Quake 3. 2015 made Medal of Honor. Uh, and then a lot of that studio left to make Infinity Ward, who then went on to make Call of Duty. Now, it's kind of fascinating because those that represents a pretty big split in first-person shooters. id Software made a multiplayer-focused, like, efficiency-focused, competitive game in Quake 3. It had no campaign. It was just all about tech and game design and map design uh, and online competitive play. Whereas 2015 made Medal of Honor... And then Call of Duty, which were, I guess they, Call of Duty did have multiplayer. It was different back in the day. It's, Call of Duty multiplayer now is just a whole, it's a whole thing unto itself. But uh, the campaigns were very like tightly scripted cinematic experiences. So almost the, the like philosophical opposite of what Quake 3 was at its software. Interesting. And then id Software made like a full Half-Life kind of scripted style action game like Doom. Interesting to see it come around. I love both those kinds of games. Apparently they were going to work on a um, Half-Life expansion. Hostile Takeover? I remember the Dreamcast port. Jeez. That that's a great fit. Now it makes me excited to play Wages of Sin because... What I saw in, in the original Sin campaign by Ritual were a lot of the uh, a lot of the like building blocks of what first person scripted shooters became. Just the early flirtation with a lot of those ideas. Quake Two had some of them at its very core. Some of the like branching pathways and stuff like that. The fact that maps were about uh, a flow of a narrative through the whole thing. 
of like you're completing these military objectives and it kind of makes sense in the context of the shooter versus it just being a ton of mazes with switches that you have to get through. Exciting stuff. Why did I do that? <laughs> Zin gold. There's some odd... Do you think the manual has anything cool? <gasps> Wait a minute. Is this the same manual? No. Blade's journal. <sighs> We've got more journal entries. They're not as... Uh, they're not as fancy as they were in the first game. But luckily we get to learn more about the inner turmoil inside of Blade, John Blade. A warrior poet if ever there was one. Conflicted. Blade's Journal. August 10th? No, wait. Yeah, August. Jeez. August is always a weird one because it doesn't seem like August is an 8 kind of month. October is totally a 10. Like, it makes sense. But August 8, it just, it's a weird fit. Anyway, August 10th, 2037, 9.38 p.m. It's been several weeks since I've come back from her island and I still have visions of her. I'm not sure I understand what it is that I feel. Boredom, sorrow, anger. I don't know. You're horny, bro. This is great, though. This is personally stitching together the end of Sin 1 with the expansion pack. So the story continues. I found a blog. Someone posted a personalized journey diary recounting the whole Final Fantasy 1.X story, which was neat. Huh. Just like their impressions of events as they're happening. Ruby Rose. Oh, thank you for the sub. 27 months. That's quite a long time. JC's still been trying to analyze the events of what happened after Alexis vanished before my eyes, but so far he's been coming up short for answers. I've got this bad feeling that we haven't seen the last of her. Events are proceeding in their usual slowness as far as the courts are concerned. I'm beginning to wonder if I'll ever see those Syntech bastards go to trial in my lifetime. <sighs> the system's broken. So I sometimes you need a hard ass like Blade to get out there and distribute some justice. August 15th, 2037, 4.23pm. JC found an interesting item today while scanning the local info nets looking for leads. An encrypted email regarding something about an illegal weapons deal about to go down soon. JC is still trying to decode the email to get the location of the deal along with the rest of the details. Apparently there's some high-tech encryption being used. The kind you don't normally... Uh, the, the kind you don't find the standard lowball weapons dealers using. Nothing too out of the ordinary, but worth investigating, I think. We got some high-tech crims on our hands. Okay. Oh yeah, I installed new drivers. How exciting. We've, we've finally unlocked ultimate performance. Now we're about to have an ultimate video game. I'm just gonna start over. I didn't really play it last time. The intro cutscene though is magnifique. And again, I think shows the real start of the Half-Life era of scripted shooters. Wages of Sin came out shortly after Half-Life, right? Half-Life was 98, what, Wages of Sin was 99? So, man, stuff moves so fast back then. I guess that's because you had, like, dev teams of, like, 12, and you could make a game in a year. Wages of Sin. I don't... I do not trust difficulty selections from this era, because a lot of the times the difficulty was just pretty arbitrary and sometimes impossible like not fun just straight up broken like you have to you have to cheese the game which is can be fun on its own but time consuming even the like out of of referencing this like plot event in engine it's 
weird too because this gives me this gives me like max pain energy because it's got the fly over the water it's got like mookie uh new york gangsters it looks cold even though it's i have no reason to believe that it is I did change some of my audio setup, so I gotta be careful. Look at this camera work, though. Man, the camera panning down, shooting under. I feel like you didn't see techniques like this used in console cutscenes until like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Whereas this is probably like shot for shot lifted from an action film. Look at this shit. 99. Ah, there were some... I feel like Anachronox was around that era and had some interesting camera stuff going on in the cutscenes. Hey, what's up, Varshan? Coming back from Japanese lessons? You're spamming the sorry emote? Seems like... Seems like you're learning the rules. What moods do you have? Things are still proceeding on. This could be the intro to John Wick 4. Every now and then we get a little lip out of the doctor. Yeah, well, if he gets out of line again, just smack his daughter around a little more. That should shut him up. You got it, boss. Oh, and uh, there's one other thing. The lurkers seem to have gotten a little nervous about All right, Steve, we need you to hit that P a little harder this time. Harder? Yeah, harder. The surface and uh, pretty much slaughtered everybody in sight. Damn! We're too close now to have it all screwed up by a couple of monkey brain religious fanatics. Post more guards around their perimeter. I don't want any of them breaking out again, or it's your ass! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, whatever you say, boss. Yeah. Soon now, this shitty's time will pass, and my time will begin. Capish. So sick. Oh, verbose. Yeah, those are pretty ancient emotes. One is a community member that is. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Not as active now. Uh, and the other one is a drawing. I was playing Kingdom Hearts 2 and complaining about Winnie the Pooh and how much Winnie the Pooh sucks. And this community member rightfully identified my, uh... Oh, drift! Cyber Future Drift! Ah! Edgar Wright must have played Wages of Sin and he was like, I'm gonna do that in 20 years, but for real. Anyway, a uh, community member drew a very expressive picture of Pooh telling me to fuck off. And I was like, that's an amazing drawing. And it reminds me. It reminds me to, uh, to enjoy whimsy. Man, now that we're in the expansion pack, all the freaking goons have roided out vascular biceps and stuff. Yeah, it used to be my banner. Uh, another fun fact. I replaced it with the current banner because I simply asked the, per the uh, chat, now the community member who drew the poo, to just draw attention. a new banner. What Whatever they thought. And I just made that. <sighs> okay, JC, go ahead. We've just received a report of a massacre down at a construction site in the industrial district. It looks pretty bad from what we can tell. And I like it. Everyone's been slaughtered. <laughs> That's definitely not good. Does this have anything to do with those mafia-related uh, raids in the past month? That's not well, good. That would be my first thought, but we've also gotten reports of what people are saying to be monsters doing the killing. Monsters? Wait a minute. They can't mean. Uh huh. Sounds like it could be mutants. Wait, but that's not possible. We shut Alexis's operation down. That's why you should go check it out. All right, then. I'm on my way. 
Slade is being cool. I'm allowed to be cool. Okay, guys, wrap them up. What's left of them? Wrap them up. We need to bring, we need to bring Blade back. Mutants. How the hell? Could oh wait, he's coming back. Left. Left. It's already happened. I know Alexis disappeared, but could she have come back? I wonder if we'll ever be rid of her. I just hope this isn't gonna be as bad as before. This is him staring out the like the convertible top of his car as he's cruising down the road, having some thoughts. Just musing. Sometimes you gotta drive and process the thoughts about the the dominatrix CEO <laughs> Can you say bimbo? It's pretty bimbo though, right? That's the word for it. I don't know if that's okay or not. Is it okay for me to say that? She can call herself. She can call herself a bimbo, but I'm not allowed to. I think might be the, the flow there. Anyway, Alexis, strong girl boss, cyberized before his very eyes. She uh, stimulated her clitoral activator and vaporized into digi smoke. Uploaded into a satellite, I think, that then fired off? Like, the rocket went up and split into pieces and Dragon Balled everywhere. And then JC was like, damn, no! And then he, it just cut to him Doogie Housering the ending. Where he's like, yeah, we don't know what happened. Here's the thing, though. Um, her, she's back. Alexis is back in Sin episodes. So either they ignore that or most excitingly, there's something in Wages of Sin that explains her being un -cyberized. Can one be a bimbo and also be smart? Yes. I don't... To me, I think bimbo just describes aesthetic and demeanor. Not necessarily... Like a lot of the times in the past, I guess intelligence was a part of it, but... Yeah, she gets all horny in the hot tub. Maybe she's in some kind of cyber tub. No, because she like, she she drops her titties on the monitor and that other part, like precursor to, to Xeno Saga or Xenoblade Chronicles 2, where like you wake up and there's just massive anime titties directly in your face. Um, legendary scene. Sin episodes did it first. And I can't recall a whole lot of video games where you're just looking at massive titties in first person. These things are important to know. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's time to start Sin. Okay, Bimbo, an attractive but unintelligent or frivolous young woman. Huh. I, it's That's a pretty classic definition. I feel like in... I'm no expert on this. But I feel like in, in kind of like modern, modern verbiage, it means something else. Anyway, I'm a teacher, exactly. Historian. I just love campy games, man. That's where that's where real video game culture is. A massacre at the construction site. Who would do such a thing? Could the mutants really have reappeared? I guess the closer games get to like JoJo's level camp and self-awareness and pageantry that's why yakuza is so great because it like it is a game and it's not afraid of being a game and it celebrates games and it celebrates being a game with its like absurdity and self-referentialism okay hell yeah bro i've already got a I've already got a vehicle oh hold on we're not here to murder we're here to investigate man, what the hell man what the hell yeah i really do need to play rgg's uh, Fist of the North Star game. JC's trademark. Wit. Oh. That's interesting. The titty posters are higher quality, but illustrated. Interesting. Interesting. We've changed art design. <gasps> it's got the little slider bit. Wow. Whoa! Okay, guy, we gotta, we gotta figure out a way to one-up sin. How do we do it? What if we modeled that little slidey bit? That's all it took back in the day. Boom! You're a billionaire. I guess what's kind of interesting too is tracking some of the names, because Jason West and Vincent Pella 
Let's see here. Jason West was a de higher developer for 2015, I think. I think halfway, th or like to work on Medal of Honor. And then they, three of them left to found Infinity Ward. Oh, rope physics. Yeah, this, this is just like the tech courtyard. It's like you got to sell somebody on the game. Just put it right at the beginning so you can load up the game and be like, check this stuff out. Whoa, you could swing and fuck me. Oh my God. Ow! That was just like launching out of the uh, swing as a kid and breaking your ankle. Do you think you can f flip up there? There's a gun up there. Is that what that is? Okay, I gotta try it. Oh wait, I guess I could probably just climb on the... Climb on this thing. Can I ram it? Uh-oh. Oh, no way. They're going to block me? Oh. Ooh. Hell yeah. Is that going to make it fall? Oh, no. This is something cool to do. What is this, Shenmue? God. If only. Okay. Here's the plan. I'm going to try to Tarzan swing onto the... Onto the vehicle. I could probably just jump on it. Maybe not. Okay. Is Blade Bulldozer sat uh, certified? Blade is uh, everything certified. Oh, you have to eat, I think. Uh, uh. Man, it even gives you like a little kick of speed when you uh, when you let go of the rope. Otherwise, that wouldn't work really. Yeah, Blade, uh, Blade knows how to do everything, because Blade's great. Blade's a corp, colonel, colonel. Oh. Hey, got, is that a flashlight? That could be helpful. We got lens flares on the lights. Are they going to tell me how to use it, or do I just have to know? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Quake 2. That's kind of interesting, because basically it just puts a light where your cursor is shining. But that's not the same as a flashlight. But that's what they could get away with. And it kind of lags behind a little bit. <laughs> Ow! Hey! Damn it, the cats are back. environmental audio as opposed to just rolling techno tracks. Also, I'm already in a sewer. But that makes it very obvious like which way you're supposed to go. It's a hallway, the water's running this direction. Yeah, just a little tromp through the bio slime. Freeport has a lot of bio slime. Ow! What the? Hey! Hey! <laughs> what the hell was that? Ugh! Great. What the hell are mutants doing down here? I thought they were all dead. Well, that one is. We have to find That's our out blade. where these mutants are coming from. I'm not gonna... The thing is, there might be something back here. I don't know if this is in the era when, like... There definitely became a time when these games definitely... Hmm, interesting. Stopped putting in all this like side stuff. Not a chance. 
Not a chance. Not a chance. Like, Call of Duty campaigns definitely got to the point where it was just a hallway with explosions around it. Uh, as opposed to, like, a hallway with some, like, weird rooms that had weird dudes in them. Drawers that opened and little goodies tucked inside. Like, all that stuff sort of fell away. I guess I'll check, check it over here. This is an interesting way to do a flashlight. I don't think I've ever quite seen something like that. Damn it! These are hardy fuckers! And on that bio slime! Rock and roll! That's actually a pretty sick thing to do. Or a pretty sick thing to say when you've just shot a spider to death with your giant gun. Damn. Ow, fuck. Oh. What the? Oh yeah, these guys are back. Damn. Rock and roll. Okay, music's picking up a little bit. Why are there fires down? JC, are you getting this? Oh, looks like he was torn in half. Yeah, those are bite wounds. I guess, I guess good lighting was kind of the... Uh. Uh. Oh, you're not dead. Uh. What the heck are these guys? Oh, they got little vests on? Oh, they curled up into a ball. Yeah, it wasn't really until Doom 3 that you had actual, like, proper lighting, proper dynamic shadows. Everything more or less mathematically calculated correctly. So it's so so interesting to see earlier attempts at that. Especially when you start trying to have these like pitch black areas that rely on it. All right. Just trying to like scrape around a bunch. I don't know how many uh Oh. Okay. Interesting. What the fuck? Like I said, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how quirky this game wants to be, with any like oddities tucked away in the corners of maps. That is one of my favorite things, though. <laughs> Doctor Brain's private reserve. Oh wait, we're talking anchovies on pizza. Oh. Hey, whoa, hey, oh! Why did it get right in here all of a sudden? Oh. You know, uh, I'd always grown up with the indoctrination from 90s media that anchovies were bad and I shouldn't want them. Welcome to Freakport. Cool. Okay! Oh my god! That was awesome. Holy shit. That was cool. Spider dude burst out of him. Oh, there's guts textures inside. Look at that. No, don't fade away. Oh. Well, there'll probably be more. Anyway, uh, 90s cartoons and shit indoctrinated me hard that anchovies were bad. But no, they're not. They're actually really good. Damn. Ooh. Who's your daddy? Really, it was like... It was seeing... Damn. Uh, it was seeing a good table side Caesar anchovy in it. And then making that connection in my mind that that's the flavor they brought. What the hell are you, bro? Are you an enemy? I am sorry about that. Are you okay? Hmm. Damn, he was just... Damn. <laughs> Maybe I could have talked to that guy. I don't think I saved it all, though. This is a talking game. Oh yeah, he's helping. Okay, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have shot that dude. Ah! 
Are, wait, are you shooting at me? Maybe he's just shooting at everybody. Yeah, he's he's shooting me. Uh oh. Ah, oh, that's so rad. Okay. I already like the energy of this game quite a bit. Dealing with like parasitic psycho bugs. Never go back. I won't. John Blade only goes forward. Ooh, yum! Are you hungry, Blade? <laughs> GC a man just died. That's one hard hat we can cross off the list. Oh, okay, I guess I guess I am supposed to find them all. But I got locked in here, so I guess that's that. I still feel a little bad about shooting that little dude down. He was just running. Blake! Blake, talk to me! Remember what I said about not saving? Okay, here's the good news. Here's the good news. Now, I, uh, I'll be able to not kill that dude. So I don't know that I've really found a reason for the... Man, what the hell? Bulldozer. Man. Ladies? Hmm. I'd better take this back as evidence. <laughs> I did not know you could take... The fucking calendar. Does it show up in your inventory? No, he just takes it. Okay, it's just gone. He just eats it. Oh. Evidence. <laughs> Colonel Blade is a weird guy. Corporal. Colonel. Hey, is that a flashlight? That could be helpful. Okay, you can drink the soda. Well, yeah, let's zoom in on this flashlight. This is the future, man. All of our items have polygons. Is there like a scream when you come down here? Ugh. Kind of the other thing too is like, oops, <laughs> is uh putting stuff in levels that makes sense for it being a real world thing. Like of course there would be ladders leading up out of the sewer. This is a real sewer. People need to get in and out of the very real sewers, don't they? It's always always such an interesting uh, compromise of the illusion of something being a real world area. What the hell are mutants doing down here? I thought they were all dead. Well, that one is. Versus, uh. We have to find out where these mutants are coming. Being a video game level. Oh. Balancing those two things. I feel like that's such a. Such a, uh. This core distinction between. Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. Doom 2016, I feel like, put a lot more effort into. Looking like a space. Whereas Doom Eternal had some of those environments. But largely, it like became video game and video game universe. I mean, especially when you go to hell and like everything is sort of spaced properly for the Doom Slayer. There's little flip bars everywhere. It's a world for you. So it's the world of Doom. That's right. Barney Miller is back. 
Barney Miller? Barney Miller. Barney Barney Miller. Barney Miller. Bar who the Barney Miller. Barney Miller. Okay. So he was like a hard boiled cop or something? Ooh, Telly Savalas is Kojic. Hold on. That's a good, always a good mood lifter. Uh, anyway, Barney Miller. Yeah, that was a nonsensical reference. Different, uh, different crew of developers on this one. Different class of references. Hey, snack pack. Thank you for the sub. Yes. I need to get a, a Lalafell lifter so that I can climb into it. <clears throat> Finally get the respect I deserve. If uh, if anyone's unaware, it's fucking phenomenal. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta tab out real quick. Sorry. One more. One more brief. <laughs> one more brief aside. <laughs> they added a little chair. And a little baby chair uh, for the little potatoes so you can sit in a, t in a tall chair tired of being forgotten in conversation and hitting the edge of the table with your nose no longer with the Lalafell lifter the chair is specifically designed to uplift even the smallest of heroes but yeah I think some people are mad I think they're mad about it look ding <laughs> it's as tall as you are oh Oh, geez, it's a baby chair. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Tiny little legs. Oh, I love it. Anyway. Damn. I'm not going to shoot that nice man this time. Not gonna do it. There, see? Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Cleaning up the gene pool. Oh, okay. Hey there, pal. Hey there, little guy. With your big expressive eyes. See? You're not fully mutantized yet. You're good. You're a nice little fella with your shriveled arm. Your stumpy thing. There, see? No problem. Blade's a good guy. That's so sick. Ugh. Surely that something, some effect like that must have happened in uh, Alien vs. Predator 2. Okay, that's the, the door shutting. Well, good, I'm glad my friend is safe back there. He can keep pacing around his little fire. Why would you say that to a mutant, man? I don't know why I'm questioning John Blade. He's too cool for school. I guess those are already slurped. Pre-slurped sin soda. Ooh, yum! Are you hungry, Blade? That's one hard hat we can cross off the list. Oh, I just realized that the timer on my items must be the flashlight. Oh yeah, it ran out. Where was that other flashlight? I think it was just down in the cave somewhere. Oh, that's somewhat interesting then. I can't really go into this. I can't really go into the side caves without a flashlight. Is this a construction worker? Was this a construction worker? We're basically the same person. 
Well, he has a hard hat. All right. Well, this has gotten much more difficult without the the teeny little flashlight. I don't remember where the other one Look was. Look around for some more hard hats, boss. You might not be able to get back. Ow. Maybe I can get him as soon as he pops out. He starts skittering right away. Time to put on the shades. Do you think that was a cool moment, though? The shades go on when Blade is at max cool, and I'm not quite sure he was there. Uh... See, look, he just he just fell right off. Did I miss a conversation about the melty chair? Maybe not a conversation. But an acknowledgement of, a celebration of. I don't know what the discourse is, though. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta scour the subreddits. There wasn't... Dang, I kind of need that other flashlight, though. Oh, where was it? Where is it? I thought it was just on the ground randomly in one of the pitch black caves, but I can't get back there. So I have no flashlight. So I guess I just gotta... Never go back. I gotta obey the... I gotta obey the graffiti. I guess I just gotta scrape around in the dark. Okay, this, that's cool. Shit, this sucks. Okay. I think it was in here, actually? This looks familiar. Yeah, it was like over here. JC, are you getting this? There we go. Oh, looks like he was torn in half. Yeah, those are bite wounds. Jeez. Oh, transparent water? Doom. I don't think Quake 2 had that. There's a woman in the work cafeteria. She's coughing and hacking every so often. Uh, I mean, that's not a good feeling. Uh, the stupid die young, chump. I gotta find the construction workers and the source of the mutants, but I feel like they want me to get the construction workers first because JC whined at me about it. get this now. Oh, I think it stacks. Oh, hey. Okay. I just got back here. Hey there, pal. Say, uh, you haven't seen any construction workers. Okay. All right. I haven't seen any sailors. Yeah. Hmm. So there's that. I think there was one more pitch black dank cave. I could be mistaken. Looks like they're all over the sewer system. We still have two unaccounted for construction workers. You better go down in that hole and keep looking, boss. Okay, he said something different this time. Ugh. Hey! What the? Where did you come from, guy? The bugs seem to, like, have trouble hitting you. Which is, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining about that at all. Oh, uh, 
Okay, okay. I guess I found the construction workers. Further underground. Great. Am I, I'm already in like a pipe lab. A city of mutant cannibals and no shower. Blade hikes up his flak pants and wades further into this foul mystery, searching for the source of these mutants. Oh, that's that was a comma. Okay. Was this made from open source? This, I guess, may have existed around the time that... No, Source 1 didn't exist yet. Um, the, so Half-Life was a fork of the Quake 2 engine, which this also is. So this is essentially um, a lot of the similar tech that ran Half-Life 1. I mean, id, id Software's engines were kind of the PC standard at the time. The shift to Unreal. I'm trying to think of early Unreal Engine games because there weren't many. I mean, there weren't a ton of Quake-based games or like id Software-based games after like the Doom 3 engine didn't get used much. The Quake 3 engine didn't get used a ton. Like Jedi Outcast was the biggest example, I think. Oh man, starting dropping into a level. All right, the Quake family tree. <laughs> Oh, geez. So let's see here. Yeah, there's Sin. Action Quake. I played so much Action Quake. Okay. I didn't know that Source was a fork of Quake World. That's interesting. I thought it was a I thought it was a Quake 2 based. I guess Half-Life's flashlights are better. <laughs> Yeah, this is the power of of, um, of releasing source code. I guess it took a while. All these were kind of made while that code was still getting licensed, but still, uh, the fact that you can you can download very functional, very fast, very efficient engines and compile them and make your own shit with publicly available tools. You know, it's kind of like if you want to be a filmmaker, you can shoot on your phone. Same thing with games now. Like all the tools are there. Depending on how technical you want to get. I guess there's whole well, that's kinda of cute. It's stuck. Aw, oh, sweet. Dynamic water levels. Deus Ex is the early example of a game on Unreal. Oh, I didn't know. I, f I didn't know Deus Ex was on Unreal Engine. That's pretty cool. Does COD still use some Quake code? Uh maybe. Maybe in the sense that Quake did certain things right, and once you do them right, there's no reason to do them over again. What the fuck? Ugh. But no, Call of Duty runs on its own, like, own te technological layers now. That has got to hurt. The first Call of Duty. Ugh. What the hell? Call of Duty 1 did run on the Quake 3 engine, I'm pretty sure. Hey, is that a flashlight? Jesse loves flashlights. Whoa. I guess they need to run out of the door before it closes. Actually, that makes sense. Uh, Deus Ex being on Unreal. Now that I think of it, it looks like an Unreal game. And I guess it's just the, like, vivid colored lighting. Um, I associate early, early Unreal with, like, neon colors. Stop it! Put on the ladder. There we go. Okay, why did I do that? There had to be a reason.
damn. Flashlight doesn't really work underwater? Oh. I guess it kind of does. Oh, that's cute. That's that's a pretty fun level piece to try to get through. Mostly because it was like signposted pretty well about where you need to go. Ooh, where? Uh. Find a way out of the sewers. Okay. The game says that I'm out of the sewers now. Great. Glad that's back. Rock the Casbah. That's a cool thing for a 20s teen hacker to say. Speaking of cool things to say, I forgot to check in with uh, Blade's diary. Hold on. Got to click on Adobe Acrobat. August 17th, 2037, 10.41 p.m. JC unscrambled that email and we found out when the deal was going down. But whoever those sons of bitches were, they were expecting us somehow. Damn it. I should have been more careful. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Kovaros brought it out there today. And it was my... Oh, bought it. Kovaros bought it out there today, and it was my fault. JC insists on saying there was no way I could have known, but I should have used my brain. That's all. Garrett's probably not looking down upon me with too much favor right now, I think. It's never fun to have to issue an NOD, notice of death, he says to his own diary, to the loved ones of a lost friend. We never really got a good look at whoever it was out there, but they were very well armed. I'm going to have JC start to investigate more into where he found that damn lead. And that this time, to be more careful. JC, he lives a hard life out there fighting the grime and slime in Freeport. But he still feels, you know? It's still hard when he loses a member of his team. He takes it personally. That's just the kind of guy JC... No, not JC. John Blade. <laughs> JC's a turd. No, John Blade kind of guy he is. It's just the kind of guy he is. Look at this. The red pipe. The only thing that's red. It's fine. Jump on this. <laughs> it wasn't fine. Maybe I should have shot it. It wasn't fine at all. That's not what they were telling me to do. Maybe it was. I'm going to shoot it. No? Damn. No way. Okay, still got to the other side. And then they give you health. JC, I need a vacation. <laughs> you got it, boss. Oh, a rope connected on both sides? You can't, you, you gotta be kidding me. This is not possible. <gasps> <gasps> I've grabbed it. <gasps> <laughs> That's so cool. I think Ultima 9 had ropes too. Um. Huh. Okay. Looks like Alexis, doesn't it? So now, does she have a cult of like underground mutants that built a shrine to her? Because that's pretty cool. Damn, JC. The statue has some rocking titties. Hmm. Is that all you, that's all you got to say? <gasps> Two pistols!
Ow! I've got two guns now. You can't mess with me. Oh, man. You guys have no idea. I'm holding two guns and I just looked at some chromed out titties. You have no idea how ready for battle I am. Oh, I'm very close to dying. This just became like first person Elden Ring. Shoot the supports. Oh, good idea. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do you one better. No, I'm not. Ah. Uh, bullets don't hit it, unfortunately. You're good. Good idea, though. They're definitely very like prominent. What if you shot them and the like the statue fell down and just so happened to like fall and break in a way that she was like laying on the ground, like a pinup shot? That would be funny. That's right. Barney Miller is back. It gets cooler every time. Ah. Didn't, like Max Payne had dilapidated subways. It's so weird, man. A lot of these environments. Maybe that's just exactly was exactly the vogue in video game levels at the time. Damn. Damn. No way. Man, this one reeks. I do remember games, especially PC games, being very dark. Like, both thematically and also graphically. I think it was a combination of like discovering that that being very sparing with your lighting and using what limited like color grading you could have added a lot of texture and dimension to what were otherwise just flat tiled textures. So this like doesn't look as as flat and boring because you have these like points of light here that are sort of radiating and creating depth to the scene and everything like that. If everything were just full bright, it would look terrible. Um, so I th a lot of PC games were definitely reveling in getting darker and darker to look more realistic. Nasty one. Okay, that's the last one. Is that a cat? Damn, it's locked. Damn, it's locked. Damn, it's locked. Oh, it's a helmet. <laughs> Gotta climb over. Damn. Or slide under? How do you get it? Uh. What? The sack I wonder of how long this has been sitting here. I got a sack of money? Is that a, a reference to the first game? Damn, it's locked. Damn, damn it's locked. I just want to grab it. That's so weird. You can't, like, jump over. Ugh. What the hell? It's so bad right now. I actually kind of need it. No, that didn't help. Somehow. <sighs> I might have to leave this one a mystery. What the hell was that? Shoot lock from the toilet? You can't really stand on it though. Can't really see it. 
Yeah, flickery bathrooms. Oops. Ah. Ow. Ah. Toss a grenade. I don't think I have a grenade. I don't think I have that yet. Maybe they did it. Maybe the Mad Lads did it and put unreachable items. Let me see if I can see anything through the light cracks. And flush another dude's turds, you know it. Showing extreme dominance. Yeah, that's it. Those are the only weapons I have. Maybe I'll get the ability to phase through walls later. You never know. Maybe I'll get a gravity gun. I just happen to know that Blade's head is very soft. And he's also very uh, sensitive about that. So I'm just trying to look out for my guy. Looks that's like all. some kind of basement. I may have found you a way out after all. Yeah, thanks for the help. Hey, be careful up there. Most people don't keep mutants in their basement. What did that do? Oh yes, it's the January issue. With Karen? Yep. I didn't think he would actually pick it up, but like, it doesn't go into my inventory. <laughs> it's just gone. What if I want to continue leering at that blade? And speaking of Deus Ex, this is another game that has bags of chips as like healing items. It's another fun crossover in gaming when like healing items aren't vials or random random things, but food or real world items. It's stuck. I don't know what that does, bro. It makes the lights flicker. Just two knuckleheads having a good time. Oh, okay. Next. The secret drug lab. Sweet. Blade has learned Freeport is home to more secrets than the White House. Nice. Oh, burning up them politicians. He finally returns to the surface with more questions than bullets. That's a good one. That's not a good one. Non-stop zingers here in the loading screens. I knew it. Cheesy poofs. Give them to me. Give them to me. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. That's spicy water. Can't have that. Well, I am hoping there's going to be a lot more of that stuff. Of just dorky NPCs being annoying. Love that shit. There's something so charming about... About, like, dumb NPCs. 
Ooh. Tavy. Thank you very much for the sub. That makes you feel health healthier than munching a bag of cheesy poofs. Okay, so we can't get back out. Man. South Park is still on the air. Maybe I shoot this? There we go, okay. Man. We have a lot of really good uses of the rope so far. Who's your daddy? Oh, more hidden cheesy poofs. Ha! Oh. Hey, what are those barrels from Simtech doing here? They redid the rifle? There, I got my helmet in the end. Sorry. I keep accidentally ticking F5 when I go in for F6. Are Blade and Alexis gonna marry each mm, other? I think they're making the U4 right here. Blade, what? look for a U4 sample in this building. It's a great question. One that I've pondered, written a lot about, researched extensively. I think we should uh, we should all bond together and try to get Blade and Alexis Sinclair together. Or at least have like a will they won't they kind of tryst thing going on. good news is that John Blade is is returning to gaming. So that's step number one. Do we have to do them both at the same time? Yeah, Blade can fix her. She's a bad girl, but not for long. Blade's gonna domesticate her. There's just a dude up in there. Shucks. Oof. Come on, Blade. We're better than this. You gotta, like, get under the lip. That's really interesting. Look at that rope, though! Oh, my gosh. There we go. It's like perfectly spaced. It won't move. It's stuck. Don't worry. The master crawling through vents. Finding. Somebody's, somebody's snaking a lot of cheesy Another poops. Lock. It's stuck. Damn. Another locked door. Okay, so I'm in here now. There's a guy over there, right? Yeah, just hanging out. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna crush you like a melon. Whoa! I did not. Ex I thought that was a rifle. That's why it looks different. It's a flamethrower. Oh. So do I have to make him like grab the barrel? Crush it, crush, crush it. <laughs> wait, wait, I, I was only playing. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, how cool is that? Oh. 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 What the fuck is going on? Is that the did the dude turn into that monster? Where are the tiny glasses? I'm only allowed to wear the tiny glasses when Blade is being cool. But he's not very cool right now. They're here though, don't worry. Don't worry about the tiny glasses. Ropes, 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 ropes. Oh man, you reminded me, yeah, Captain. I gotta play Shadows of the Empire. Who's crushing who now? Oh, I guess I should have run up here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh. 
Stuck on the chomper. So do they just keep coming out? Yeah, okay. <gasps> yeah, they're like illustrated. Nope, don't need it. Already got it. Hey, a quarter. <laughs> okay, so. Nope, don't need it. Already got it. He refuses to pick up a duplicate of the same issue. This game has porno AI. That's right. Barney Miller is back. Hey, you, where are you going? Ugh. Nice view of Freeport here. Just ate an entire tub of ice cream. Blade just taking a little crime bus and break, eating a whole pint of ice cream while looking at his girly magazine. You know he likes reading the letters column where dudes write in about, like, the time they got triple a except it's all fake. But he's like, wow, two women at once. I didn't know that was possible. Dragomore, thanks for the sub. Although if, if you take Alexis Sinclair to bed, you're basically making hmm. love to the raw power of five women, at today. least. You better get over to the crane shipyards next and check that out. There's got to be someone big behind all this. You found a disc zine? Hey, first that rules. I need. Oops. Shipping soft 2.9. Yeah, I don't really have a... Th uh, is it like three and a half inch disc? That's so cool. Oh, it's only open for a while. JC still needs that U4 sample, though. Okay, JC, I've got the U4. Excellent. Bring that sample back to headquarters. I'm sending Hadwin to pick you up outside in the truck. Wait, wait, don't shoot me. I'm only a scientist. They're holding my daughter hostage! Where is she? I don't know! Monero has her! Monero? I should have known. Monero? Hey boss, one thumb might know. Yeah, don't worry. That son of we'll a bitch. Her. What are those mutants doing down there? Down where? In the subways. I don't know! Monero makes us supply them with lots of U4. I think they've been down there ever since. Well, you know, the thing with Syntec. I used to work there, you know. Oh. Monero recruited a lot of us after. Monero. You know. You should hide until I'm gone. Yeah, yeah. You're probably right. Why did I leave? It won't move. Damn, it's locked. I wanted to look at that mouse pad. Damn it. I want to go back in. Monero! It won't move. That's lame. I wanted to check out that PC. All right. The glasses come off, Blade. You had it for a minute, but you lost it. Already got it. Already got it. Oh, there's the right. All right, the submachine gun. Okay. Okay, these go down here. All right. All right. 
Fully explored. Everything checkmarked. Another case solved by John R. Blade. Barney Miller. Um, already got. Already. Damn. I'm annoyed that I interrupted JC's retort. Already That's two it. Barney Millers. Why does he keep referencing Barney Miller? Stop trying to make Barney Miller happen. It's not happening. Are those vampires? I don't think they're vampires, but they might be. It's too early to tell. Wait. What? I was climbing up the. Huh. Okay, you can climb up shelves. That's good to know. That just says U4 on it. <laughs> it's like a, a jug of PCP. <laughs> How's life going? So uh, you know, it's good. I got the gallon of PCP. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. <gasps> Okay, well, uh, I don't know which one is which. Wait, Manifest was all the way at the bottom. Let me go click on that. But I gotta wait. I gotta wait for it. Oh, no, this is a different blade. This is John R. Blade. John Rusty Blade. This is Blade 4. Let's see here. Bandicoot boxers. Notes. Keep off head. To the crane shipyard. 100 dead babies. Notes. Need pitchfork. To the crane shipyards. You gotta get those babies out of there somehow. The absolute mad lads. Wacky tobacco. Notes didn't inhale. Oh, the 90s. Oh, the 90s. You know fucking, you know Bill Clinton got reefed. You know he got danked up. You know he did. Come on, give me a break. Would you consider yourself a mad lad? On occasion? On occasion, I've done a little. Let's get out of here. Oh, that dude's cool. I mean, look at me right now. Look at me. <laughs> Tell me I'm not the maddest lad. One Thumbs Club. Please, God, let it be a cyberpunk nightclub. A U4 lab, mutant Hannibals, uh, and now Dr. Lansing... Dr. Lansing's daughter, Monero... Ugh. God. Okay. Sorry. The, the the punctuation is harder than ever to read with these very cool glasses on. Um, Monero's doing something dirty. First drop off JC's U4, then it's time to visit Blade's informant, One Thumb. Yes! I need to, I need to learn more about the world of sin. I need to learn more about Blade's day-to-day -day and all the colorful characters he interacts with. We're really not open yet, sir. I need to see one thumb. I'll need to take your gun, sir. You hear that techno? One thumb is upstairs, sir. Did I put my, like, monster energy next to my gun? <laughs> Blade, you son of a bitch, you're loose cannon. I need your monster and your pistol on my, my desk in the morning. Can I... No firearms on this board. Oh, this is gonna be so sick. This is gonna be so cool. Hold on, I need to read more di diary first. August 20th, 2037. 2.03 p.m. Things are really starting to come apart out there. Within the past few days, there have been many raids across Freeport. It mostly appears to be a rivalry among mafia families, but it's going way beyond territorial disputes. Most of the raids seem to have been on the families that deal a lot in the illegal weapons trade more than anything. 
I don't know what this means, but I don't like the way it's going. I've ordered all hardcore troops to be on tactical alert out there. I don't want another fiasco like what happened with Kavoros. Kavoros? Probably Kavoros. Like Telly Savalas. Kavoros. Alright, time to go into the cyber nightclub. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Alright, they won't let me out. Come on, babe. Lighten up a little bit. Ooh, Orlando. It's your sister's 42nd birthday today. Please give me an uplifting monologue about how getting really old is a good thing. Uh... I wouldn't have been able to do this 20 years ago. Look at me now. Look at me blossom. Every year that goes by, I become more my true self. I'm flourishing. I'm flourishing. I'm taking these off because I want to see. Oops. Uh-oh. I want to see this nightclub. I want to see it all. I want to take it all in. Oh, yes! You seen one thumb? You seen one thumb? One thumb? One thumb. This nightclub's kind of dead. There's not even a bartender. Oops. God. <gasps> Shake your booty, everybody! Who the hell was that? It starts when you hit the button, though. I've got it going on. I was about to say, just keep looping. That'd be so awesome. It's yeah, any, stuck. any Death Grips fans out there? Just need somebody screaming over the entire track and then we're there. Oh, it remembers. That's awesome that it plays in that room. Holy crap. I really need to like, I need to look around as much as possible. If there's gonna be any level where there's just a bunch of- Damn. Just a bunch of weird shit, it's gonna be this one. All right. Let's go talk to one thumb. 
Prawn Search, Busy B, 3000. Ah, Blade, step into my office. I need to know what Monero is doing, Don. So, you're the one killing all his, uh, boys. I didn't say that. You're a dead man, Blade. I could be killed for just letting you in the door. This is serious. I think Monero's making mutants. Since you're dead anyways, I guess it don't matter. Mm. Monero's been holding a girl hostage on the top floor of the vacant building across the street. The place has a small army of uh, goons guarding it. She must be important. You can take the roof exit. You should be able to jump across the alley and uh, get in that way. The gun is downstairs at the desk, Blade. Try not to use it until you get out of my club, will ya? Get out of here, will ya? You got time to play with myself. Oh, they're all gone. Chased off by my excellent beats. Yeah, I'm trying to... Oh! Don't damage anything. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. But did 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 We're really not open yet, sir. I need to see one thumb. I'll need to take you. Wait, they weren't open, but there were four people dancing. We're really not open yet, sir. Oh, it's just the staff vibe before the shift. One thumb. I'll need to take your gun, sir. One thumb is upstairs, sir. I want to see the portrait of the developer pop up again. He had a ponytail. That is some fat, funky, fly beats, dude. Drop it on me. Maybe not a ponytail. I'm seeing a ponytail, even though one's not visible. Definitely some wireframes, though. Some tragic 90s wireframes. But did it, did it, did it. Why? Oh, I almost broke something again. Ah, Blade, step into my it's got office. an ass crack. <laughs> oh. I need to know what Monero is doing, Don. Wireframes are coming back. Oh, yeah, like round wireframes. I saw the round frames come back and I was like, oh boy, it really is in cycles. It's just like Destiny. It's just shapes. These are developers. <gasps> hey, what the? What the? Oh, I didn't get my gun. So this, I hey, this game still takes place in the future. Yeah, what, what did I pick up? What is that? A silencer. Oh, neat. Okay. Pute. It was all about stealth. We gotta go save our waifu. Well, it's that dude's daughter. I don't think we've waifu'd her yet. The, our real waifu is Alexis Sinclair. Although, if uh, if she ever heard us refer to her that way, she would capture us in some kind of like some kind of elaborate suction vinyl trap and experiment on us, making us a terrible monster. She would monsterize us without thinking twice. Even the, like, drones are a little bug-like. Yeah, Alexis is kinky as shit. 
Uh, and it's not like, it's not like normal Bond kink. Where she wants to crush you with her thighs, although she would do that. That's just where she started. Now she'll just turn you into a hideous thigh monster and then crush you- or a hideous thigh monster and then crush you with her thighs. There we go. Hey, you hear what those freaks did to some construction workers? Yeah, I can't believe it. Why does the boss keep these guys around? Mm. Boss wants an army, remember? Besides, I think that screwy priest is losing his control of them. A uh, bunch of nutcases worshipping that Sinclair, wacko. Could somebody help me, please? Yeah, go see what that skinny broad wants. Well, I think there's already been more, like, scripted lines from women in this game than in the original Sin, because there was the one there. So that's good. I wonder if that's a way also to load... Oh no, there's a level transition here. I was like, man, if they start hiding load loads behind cutscenes. But still, the uh I am I am fond of the thickness of the cutscenes so far. The vacant building. Monero is holding a girl hostage on the top floor. What secrets does she know? This calls for stealth and cunning. Please, dear God, don't let it call for stealth. Remember, I... one thumb's at the top of this building. What? Mm. One thumb was the informant. Get to the top floor, rescue the girl. I love the bust heads. I love beating people up. Come here. Yeah, I could really go for a cannoli right now. Ooh. Slippery Duda. Thanks for the sub. That thug was really like, I could go for a cannoli. That's, that's so good. That has got to hurt. Oh, and Slippery Duda, thank you for the two two years of subs. Twenty four months is a very long time. Oh, that was a good trick. So you look at the moon come here. Uh, cleaning up the gene pool. Wow. All right. That that was already got it. That was excusable when I was killing, like, genetic freak monsters. But I'm just shooting Italians! <laughs> That's not okay! <laughs> Stuck! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, Blade. Damn! My cunning and stealth. Already got it. Already got it. But yeah, this is this this whole environment is quite a bit brighter, and you can just tell it looks it looks boxier, it looks more video gamey. It's stuck. Like uh hmm. no reason for me to go in there. There's there's just like to me there's a reason that a lot of games were very grim, dark, and dank. Uh I think it I don't know that it had more to do with, oh, just sort of uh, pairing well with the technological limitations and also the cinematic ambitions of the time. Damn, no Versus, way. This is like people actually having a strong artistic vision of something grim, dank, dark. Oh. That dude's just like, oh, oh, I can't believe I survived. Try again, pal. Already got it. Didn't they want to look edgy and underground? It's, you know, it's tough to tell which came first, to be honest. Maybe they did. I don't know. Nice. Look at that sick levolution, man. I mean, there was definitely a uh, a calcified push to sort of make games for edgy thirteen-year-olds. It was largely Don't seen move. as 
It's, it, again, a chicken and egg thing. It, it was largely seen as the dominant market, so games were made for that market, so it became the dominant market. Ugh. Okay. Let me in! Escape. Just looking around to make sure there's not any cool, cool little rooms sitting around. Damn! No way! In a sin mod, but with trigger warning dialogue. Oh man. That might be too cool. It might be too libertarian. Damn! What the fuck? We did that. We're gonna convert a lot of red-blooded, steak-eating American political conservatives. That's what. Who's your daddy? So it's weird. He loses points for insinuating that Italian Americans are a blight upon the gene pool. Already got it. But he gains it a bit in saying, "Who's your daddy?" To a thick mafioso. Plan to replay some no episodes. Way. I'm thinking about it. It's all part of the John Blade universe, oh, which is damn. Sin, Wages of Sin, dead Sin episodes. Bitch. I don't know if John Blade is referenced in uh, Ion Fury, but Not since he is canon to Ion Fury verse, already got it. Uh, it's still worth playing. It's still his universe. Already got it. Even though it's like Bomb Shelly Shells game, I can't remember her name. Her name is Shelly, and then people call her Bombshell. Yes, John R. Blade is back. No or will be back. Damn. No way. <laughs> in uh in Phantom Fury. Already got it. It won't move. Shelly Bombshell Harrison. Okay, Harrison. Thank you, Kathy. Stuck. Where does the OVA come in? Good question. We'll have to watch that too. I think the OVA might be a side story slash retelling of some of the elements of the game, Already the first game. The stupid die Damn. young, chump. Because the game takes place in the 2030s. I think the anime takes place in like 2070. But it's still John Blade. Alexis is in there, but she she doesn't look as Auto show? I don't quite know how to describe it. She's more of like a, like a typical oh, no. late oh, no. 90s. Already got it. Already got it. Fantasy, evil lady. Oh, here we go. Mob boss weekly. Of course. What else are you gonna read? Tony Capullo's pizza. Hey. Yeah, Alexis in Alexis is in there. I think. Where is she? Who? You know who? The girl. Where's the girl? Ah! Don't kill me! I didn't do nothing. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess I did. Hey, whoa, whoa! Marrow moved into a ship I in the crane shipyards. You heard him. Let's go. Another Max Payne environment. Boats. Next, Dane. Wait. Danzer shipping. Monero has moved Jessica. Oh, she has a name now. She's not just the girl. Jessica to a ship in the Crane shipyards. That place is a fortress as night falls over Freeport Blade. It goes in the back way through Danzer shipping. Okay. P38 p.m. September 13th, 2037. Dingser Shipping Warehouses, Marine District of Freeport. Ah, the Marine District. This could get confusing. 
I mean, really confusing. Containers, warehouses, more containers, more warehouses. Where am I gonna start? Okay, boss. We're looking for the crane shipyard. It's goofing crane on. Is spelled C nineties shooters. A and E. Good. On the map, they're right next to the Danzer warehouses. Maybe you need a stronger prescription on those goggles. I'm gonna update that attitude when I get back there. Ooh, I'm shaking. Use your boss. JC's just too irreverent. They talked about all the characters and they were like, we need more scenes. Hmm. The way these shipping JC containers takes the are piss out of, it would be really easy to hide a sniper or two. Thanks, JC. I'll keep that in mind. Already got it. Already got it. Sweet locational damage. It's the coolest thing in the world. Wasn't this... I think this this music track was in the original game. I guess I did murder that dude. I don't really know that this is an evil shipping. If you watch the whole trailer for the Iron Fury sequel, you may see something familiar. Oh. Is it in Ion Fury as well? Let's find out. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I saw this. I've watched it. Yes, I'm very very aware of the. Uh... Wait, was that Ion? Ion Fury sequel. Yeah. Oh, I was just talking about that. Let's see. Oh man, we got emails. Yes. Ooh. Special records. Find passcode list. John Blade and the first level of Sin appears to be in. Oh yes, I know. Very exciting. The Sin universe and the Phantom Fury universe colliding. Jesus, this is hard to read. Halibut? What the hell was Hank thinking? It smelled like a burnt fish market. By the way, has anyone seen a syringe with clear fluid in it? If any of you find it, get in touch with me over at the tank house immediately. The contents are very costly and difficult to produce. Okay. So that's what that awful stench was. Make pizza pouches next time, Hank. Garth, I found the syringe lying on the desk over at soil storage, and I almost pricked myself as it was buried under some papers. You can pick it up anytime you want. Enough fish. Stop mail bombing me, you dorks. Maybe you should read the intra-corporate communications guidelines. Who cares if Hank nuked a little halibut? Who cares? And be more careful, Mr. Absent-Minded Scientist. What is it with you geeks? Sheesh. Oh, people are getting, people are getting spicy. General notices. Shipments of new products have been authorized by our preferred clients, all of whose identities should be kept in strictest confidence. Excellent work on your part allowed this to take place. Great job, people. Security has updated procedures, which you receive will receive shortly. All right, what are those? Displacement of key cards by guards as of late threatens the security of this com complex. If you do display such negligence, you will be terminated. You will be terminated. I guess that is supposed to be a period there. Blake controls access to the crane shipyards. Wilson is responsible for security. Guard post updates are now on the security office terminal. Hank, ensure all maintenance areas are locked down. Yeah, this is a really hard... This is a really hard font to read. Microwave repairs. Microwave oven is in for repairs. Sushi, anyone? Nice. Tachyon Tornado. From Alt Games Rumors, Freeport's hottest PC game company, Tachyon Tornado, was faced with more regulations today. 
The departure of its in-house exotic dancers. The lavish offices include a wave pool, IMAX theater, indoor safari, roller coaster, and an exotic dancer bar, making it the most well-endowed game company to exist, or in existence. Oh my god. Oh, resignations today. The departure of its in-house exotic dancers. So they all resigned? I can't see why any honest worker would not want to get leered at by a bunch of 90s game developers. So, let's see here. We've got date of birth and stuff like that. And then the email said who was in charge of security. I've got one of their comlinks, JC. What's the frequency they're using? Hold on. Damn it, JC. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Tarkman's mom, a Mavrodite. <laughs> JC, quit watching North Park and give me the damn frequency. <laughs> oh yeah, the frequency. Um, it's 53.2 kilohertz. Okay, got it. Hey John, this is Hank Van Dam. I've got a few minutes to work on the north entrance gate. I'll be there in a minute. North Park. Hey, you don't remember Cartman's mom? Excuse me, Tarkman or whatever? I was like season one shit. When the mere presence of a hermaphrodite was a joke into itself. Or Damn. the implication Those of one. Those guys in the construction supply warehouse keep breaking one tool after another. I'm gonna report them any day now. Hmm, hmm. No reason for me to go in there. Who wouldn't want to get stared at by people who think that's funny all day? Maybe I do need to. Oh. <laughs> Already got I like how they always tuck themselves into a nice little ball. Thanks, fellas. Yeah. This is back when humor was still legal. Back when jokes were not outlawed. Whoa! Uh. Wait! Get the hell away from there! Looks like they don't want anybody going through those doors. See if you can shut them down somewhere. I'm gonna Maybe try cutting off the power supply. Ah, right, Tyro Gandio, thank you very much for the raid. Hello, everybody. Damn, it's locked. Hey, you dead. Hey, Tom. Dead dumb bitch. See if you can keep the power running at at least 80%. I'm gonna check if there's an effect on those weird oh, chemical storage tank thermostats. I'm playing some real classy video games today. Oh. Nothing but the best. I actually got a good lineup today. Already Starting with this, uh... It's going to be Final Fantasy XIV Raid Night again. It's moving back to Mondays. Already got it. For now. And then more Resident Evil already 4. I already have the uh, Tramp Stamp mod nope, for Leon installed, so I'm excited to see that. Excited to see our guy, Leon. This guy's starting to get on my nerves, JC. I'm turning this stupid comm link off. No, no, wait. This could be useful. Hank's just a maintenance guy, JC. Oh. And you know what? Maintenance guys have lots of... Uh, uh, why don't you tell me, techno dork? <laughs> Already got it. Keys, boss. They tend to have lots of keys, hint, hint. <laughs> I knew that. Just testing you, JC. Is that supposed to be a penis joke? I can't tell anymore. Hey, Tom, this is Hank Van Dam. I've got a few minutes to work on the north entrance gate. I'll be there in a minute. Good old Hank. Also, White Rabbit Object. Good to see you. I'm hearing the golden eye chirp of a... Security! Come in! Over! Security! 
This is Hank Van Dam requesting assistance! What? I guess he saw me? I guess the idea is he walks around and like tells you where he is. Hmm. This quarter could come in handy. Did I pick up a quarter? I picked up a card. Some psychos broken into the complex. Get security, quick. Run for your lives. Run for your lives. This Hank dude is going to pay big time when I get my hands on him. If you get your hands on him, you have a gun, boss. Use it. What the hell do you think I've been doing all this time, JC? I think they call it wasting ammo. Ammo's not the only thing that's gonna get wasted, cyber geek. Quit playing top and get to the shipyards, boss. Some psychos broken into the complex. Get security, quick. Run for your lives. Run for your lives. Oh, ah, for Christ's sake, help. I don't know where the... I don't know where this dude is. I found him, I guess. The game thinks I found him. Oh, there he is. Some psychos broken into the complex. Get security. Ah! Ah! All right, maintenance key acquired. So do I go back to the? I've got the card now, but I think they said I needed a password. And I needed a password list for that, which I haven't found. Yeah, John Blade just put cyber in front of grade school insults. There's a reason he's getting styled on by JC so hard all the time. I'm going to guess what happens is like you find the passcode list and it just lists the names and the passcodes and then you have to use the emails to associate them with the proper... Damn it, damn, it's locked. With the proper person. Yeah, there's not really a cool 90s protagonist. Or 90s shooter protagonist. Best case scenario, they don't talk. Ugh. I guess JC from Deus Ex was alright. But he mostly just graveled. He, again, was the right kind of video game protagonist. I don't know. Some of his dialogue options are pretty pretty great. I guess there's Solid Snake. still oh I can it's a rocket backpack sure that's exactly what I expected to be in that crate 
damn, it's damn, it's locked. Might be locked, everybody. Okay. Hmm. Whoa! Okay, this just comes back here. Well, hmm. Ow, 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 ow. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I just haven't been here yet. Maybe I need the key for this. Got it. Well, talking about close to protocol. That has got to hurt. That's one of those games where I, I really liked it. I can totally understand why somebody Score. would be uh, underwhelmed. Oh, Definitely my kind of game. One that I'm very willing to pay for just because, I mean, in keeping with games like this, although Callisto didn't really have like the op more open levels you could explore and discover on your own, but still. Uh. Very much a fan of, uh... Damn! <laughs> freaking kicking me! Already for a little bit. Already got it. Already got it. <gasps> VR glasses? What did I... Night vision goggles! Whee! Oh, man! Whee! Oh, that's so cool! Just puts random rainbow textures on things. I don't have to worry about it getting uh, dark anymore. Here we go. Hey. Where are you going? What the? Did you wake up? Where'd you come from? Already got it. Already got it. Already got it. Oh, okay. So this is where you get the surnames. I see. Okay, so you still kind of need to know which person to get the special records from. All these are different emails. That sucks. Canister found. <clears throat> hey, I got a tip for you. Stoner here down at the Fat Giraffe says he's been seeing a lot of activity in mutant land. Talked to some junkies who said the mute mutes had a church, and get this, the mutes have a canister of that babe Alexis. Oh, that must have been the canister we saw at the beginning. Her, uh, her digi cyber consciousness went to the bottom of the ocean and, uh, now is being worshipped by underground mutants. I guess they'll rebuild her, maybe? Or construct some kind of biovat where she gets reborn and has even, even gnarlier tits. I just can't I can't wait to see how she gets a body back for Sin episodes, because you know that it's going to be cool or not acknowledged at all. One of the two. I'll use the restroom. I'll be right back.
our emails to read. Museum slash City Hall. City Hall sucks for the drop. Mm. Blades Re Renicops got that joint locked up tighter than year. Year never. Oh. This is so hard to read. Locked up tighter than your. Never mind. Our inside guys at Reich Tech. Like, like the Third Reich? Huh. Ain't gonna be able to spend half the toys, send half the toys they would if we use City Hall. Someplace quieter would be better. I kind of hope that there are our cyber Nazis. That would be cool. Mutant stuff. This is to inform you that U4RC2 is a radically different form of diforcinide that enhances the neural pathways rather than destroying them. Secondary treatment by pentothal additive will render an RC2 mutant either docile or suicidal. Cool. Also, what's up, Insane Twig? Good to see you. Yeah, my eyes kind of hurt too. That text to my eyes is what this feels like to my face. It's abrasive, but I can't I can't look away. General notices. Shipments of new products have been authorized by our preferred clients, all of whose identities should be kept in strictest confidence. Excellent work on your part allowed this to take place. Great job, people. Oh, yeah, that one. I got that one. Guard issues. Displacement of key cards. Oh, yeah. That one's new. new! Reich Tech IP 36. On May 21st, 2038, Reich Tech Inc Corporation. Designers of state-of-the-art combat technologies will reveal to select members of the press, military, and security corporations the IP-36. Your organization is cordially invited to the demonstration in our enclosed testing facility in West Freeport. Is that like... Like a... Technobot? A battlebot? Better watch for an assault team wherever you do the drop. My contact inside says Reich Tech's Sec Corps have orders to recover the prototype at any cost. He's charging us extra now for the risk, but he's giving us some free extras. This is as good as it gets. I say take it. I don't got no more dirt on that canister, though. Okay. So they're trying to recover Alexis's cyber spirit. Rumerian? Thank you for the 10 months. Simply writing in 10. Yes, I agree. I agree, 10. So, let's see here. Rockwell is the pre- Like, Rockwell's password ought to work, right? He's the president. 45883. If, if the president wants the passwords, he should get it. Classified Ops Equipment to Freeport City Hall. Oh, I can change the drop point to the hall or the museum. The museum was, like, more guarded, right? Wait, I wanted to go to City Hall because my... My Renicops have that joint locked tighter than your Nevermind. Someplace quieter would be better. But that's like, that's where it's already set to go. To City Hall. So if, if I, if I extra... I'm not quite sure what they're telling me to do here, but, uh, rock well. I forgot the password already. God damn it. So this is the only one I can pick. It says it's going to City Hall. But I can change it. To the art Let's museum. hope whatever shows up at the museum receiving dock isn't a nasty surprise. Hey, think positive, JC. What could possibly go wrong? 
With you in charge, everything. I think I'll take that as a compliment, JC. Whatever. I guess, I guess they were trying to make them banter more. I guess this is banter. Is that what this is? Are we bantering? They're just quipping. They're quipping at each other. Okay, I gotta... Uh, cut power to the turrets. Cardinal sin of, uh, what the heck? of having metal banded boxes be destructible. It's an unironic blood dragon, and it sucks because they thought they were doing something cool. Did that no, that makes it better. I am all for the since like that has to be sincere. I found the power generators, JC. Time to bust out of this joint for good. Blood dragon is fun, but I don't know. I much prefer the dumb thing that I'm uh, playing <laughs> to, go, to be made Those sincerely. Guns are down. You're cleared for takeoff. Roger that, Wait. JC. I'm out of here. Whee! That is not night vision at all. <laughs> it doesn't make it brighter. All it does is make it green, and it makes my my guns technicolor. Whee! <laughs> Damn! I thought it was actually going to like just raise the environmental light when I had it turned on. It's like shining a flashlight at a movie screen. It doesn't work that way. Damn. Yeah, turns the game into Cruelty Squad. Which I gotta get back to, man. That game was fascinating. Already got it. I have a feeling Cruelty Squad has some kind of like existentials drop in it. Some kind of some kind of weird twist like a uh, like Hotline Miami style. Well, I was in a factory for a while. Now I'm back in sewers. Already got it. Got a job in the pipe factory. We're making pies. Wow, this one opens, uh, huh? Interesting. Uh, what the? Hey. Who's doing that? I swore I, I must have tried another one that just doesn't open, but this one does. This is really interesting, this particular level. Because there was a little tiny, tiny bit of this stuff in the original Sin. Mostly flirting with ideas like this, about having multiple entrances to a... I mean, I guess Sin 1 did have multiple paths, but they were like level paths. Not necessarily multiple paths to the same objective, accomplished in different ways. So to have that stuff start to get baked into the level... I mean, that's kind of like Thief. I feel like it was one of the first games to do that. Deus Ex was huge with that. Deus Ex basically made made it a tenant of the game design. I guess I've already been down here. There's nothing else down here. It's kind of hard to remember where the branching paths are. Ah, uh, yeah, Iceman. Job hunting really sucks. I agree. It's frustrating how uh, impersonal it is. Like, it's everything to you, and it's, it's just nothing. It's your life, and it's the, like, most time you're treated no, like... Don't need it. Uh, a, a head in a herd. <laughs> Look at all these dudes. Stupid die young, chump. Already got it. Okay. So now I can go into the turreted Already areas. Man, it would be cool to have... Maybe it makes the enemies glow. 
Maybe that's what's night vision about it. Yeah, it does. Okay. This is so cool. <laughs> it's like almost there. Splinter Cell was what? Like, like why don't that was 2002? That's right. Barney Miller is back. <laughs> I'm gonna make you my bitch. Hey Lawrence, you look like a guy who would put a goatee on your custom created character. Connor. Either you've seen me play Final Fantasy XIV, or you understand me perfectly. Perhaps a little bit of both. But, uh, yes. My Final Fantasy XIV avatar. I can see the shipyards from here, JC. I'm going in. With whom I have Good spent work, hundreds, if I'm not thousands of hours, as we speak. has a sharp goatee. More of a soul patch, really. Okay. Wait, I didn't find new case leads. Ooh, I want to do that, though. I wonder where that would be. Nah, I'll just go. I'll just go forward. I can't really think of anything I didn't explore. I guess I... What was that other ramp that had turrets on it? Ooh, Slender's Pep. Thanks for the sub. Was, was there only one? There might have been only one. What do you make of the new Lollafiddle chair? I think it's fucking awesome. And if not, so, I think... S I haven't seen it myself. I've only heard reference to people being mad about it. And that's also awesome. That's right. Barney Miller is back. Ugh. I hope that people are mad about it. Because I think that's also awesome. Rock the Casbah. But maybe they're not. Maybe like one person. Yeah, it's gotta be. Ooh, this place smells worse than your T-shirt, JC. Sewers, manure piles, outhouses. Oh, what's next? <laughs> if I ever get my hands on the guy who designed this place. <laughs> There's a vent. There's some shit up there. Those might be new case leads. Oh, there's one guy on Twitter who said they didn't like the design and it spiraled from there. Yeah, sometimes I wonder if it's just like you want it to be true so bad that you you make it true. I want it to be true badly. So there's a vent. From oh. somewhere in here? Maybe in here? No, I don't want to go down. The thing is, though, there could just be some random vent with like a giant ladder inside of it that goes all the way back up. Oh, there's. There's ducks. Eesh. I don't think I can climb in those, though. But yeah, I think it's awesome. I love the, uh... I love the fact that 14 has a weird sense of humor. And I hope they never lose that. Damn, it's locked. That's locked. But I'm not on the side I thought I'd be. Oh, I got turned around. It's over here, right? Yeah, maybe there's a way to jump on the 
crates and stuff? Yeah. I can get up there now. Hmm. I can't jump up there. Taking these obnoxious goggles off. They're good for shooting dudes. Can't argue that. All right. Oh, I thought there was like a radio up there or something. It just looks like it's vents and stuff. Okay, well, I don't worry about that too much then. And I don't know. I guess I guess John Blade's workload is pretty full right now. I don't need to scour the level for other crime-busting opportunities. Oh, I've been in here. Die, you're dead. Dead, dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, it was worth it for that. Come to Papa. Why is this over here? This is a little place for dudes to get dropped off. The goon drop off. Oh, is this like another way to get to the power? Yeah, okay. I can kind of think of is that there might have been some menus on that computer that I didn't fully explore, but I mean, there were like passwords I didn't use, but that was all just to change the shipment. And that was it. So. Okay. I'll just go on to the next level. I'm just, it, it breaks my heart to think I might miss certain important lore beats by not uh, completing all the level's objectives. Crane shipyards. Oh, look at him shooting out of that goo. Jumping out of the frying pan, Blade hotfoots it to the crane shipyard, still looking for Dr. Lansing's daughter. That's right, that's why I'm here. I'm showing this place is closed for the evening, so you're going to encounter mostly security. So remember to use your silencer this time, Leadfoot. They've got some decent security cameras as well, so try to stay out of their field of view. Would you like to come and do this? Hey! I'm the one that knows how to keep your ass alive. Now we know that the ship holding Dr. Lansing's daughter is in here somewhere, but we need to find out on what dock. You can probably find out via a shipping record. The records department in the Harbor Master area is a pretty good bet. Hmm, maybe there's a better way around. I'll have to see what I can find. Boss, I got some results from that U4 sample you got me. Monero has altered the mutagen. I, I'm not sure what he's trying to do with it now. Well, keep working on it. The answer's gotta be there somewhere. That was weird. The dialogue had more 
than the voice line did, or it sounded like it was cut off early. Okay, but first... August 26th, 2037. Our hardcore R&D division has given us a new toy to play with. It's called a plasma bow, and it's based on reverse engineering the pulse rifle technology we found in the Syntec facilities. This thing looks pretty badass, too. I can't wait to do a little field testing with this puppy. Ooh. Freaking plasma bow? Excited for that. August 29th, 2037, 8 p.m. The raids between the Mafia families have now gotten more hostile and ambitious. The head of the Capetta family was found with a Colombian necktie presented to him. The Capettas were major players in illegal weapons deals, so I'm sure this is related to the ongoing raids of the last week. Whoever's doing this has got some major muscle behind them, but the strange thing is that no family is taking the credit for it. The way this was done, it was purely a warning to the other families, but if no one's taking the credit, then I'm beginning to suspect ulterior motives at hand here. JC still hasn't been able to turn up anything yet on the nets, so I guess that means we'll have to keep looking as best we can. Keep hacking crime until we find out who's behind this. I'll hold him. You go for backup. Already got it. Oh, there it God goes. Damn. Shit. Great idea, Blade. Dancing on the tables to go unnoticed. Oh, man. Hold on. You gotta remain undetected. Did I miss the ending of that alt right book? No. That has not occurred yet. Okay, you can hit a button. I'll hold him. You go for backup. <laughs> How is it this hard? <laughs> but no, I'm waiting for the next uh, subathon. Maybe, maybe Diablo. But that's this weekend. But yeah, that book. That book is a trip. Oh. Yeah, the the open beta weekend for people who pre-order the game is this weekend, I think. So you gotta you gotta pay it. You gotta pay it. Ugh. You gotta buy it to play it early. But really, I guess it's just like kind of a weird early digital release. I don't know. That's so weird. Open beta if you pre-order. That's called. It's called buying the game. You well, buy the I game and you can play camera, it. Blade. No shit, Sherlock. Woo! Little cranky on these stealth missions, are we? Big? <laughs> oh man. Well, try to maneuver around the camera's field of view. Hopefully, it won't see you. Also, there's a blind spot right under the camera, so try to get there to play in your next move. And you might be able to turn the cameras off at some point as well. Any more news, Professor? Yeah. You know, you should get a life one of these days. Wow. Yeah, open beta or whatever. It's, they just call it that. They're releasing the game. It's a game launch, but they like, they put a title on it and weirdly everybody's way more accepting of it not working. It's just such a, it's a weird like naming thing. Like early, oh. A special pre-order bonus, you get to start playing the game, yeah. Every other situation where you give somebody $60 and then you get to start playing a video game is called buying the game. So I, I, I don't get it. Already got it. Stealthy. Already got it. I haven't seen the Sin anime yet, but I fully intend to. Headcase. It's all on. Uh, it's all on YouTube. So I was gonna watch it 
after I finish this expansion pack. God damn. Shit. Great idea, Blake. Stealth. Crime family. God damn. Shit. What? Great idea, Blade. I don't understand. Great idea, Blade. Already got it. God damn. Shit. Maybe like God I don't understand damn. what's going on. Shit. God damn. Shit. Like that's the problem is you can save your state when something has already happened. Can I go this way? Yeah, I can What? That was a loading transition? Huh? Okay. I guess uh, objectives maintain across stages. Oh, interesting. God damn. Shit. Well, that may have like reset things. Sort of. Stop, Ugh. God damn. Shit. So as soon as I come into that level now, from that entrance, it's, it's going to alarm, basically. Yeah, I think it's like this dude. As soon as I get seen by the dudes, then he flips around. Oh. Nope, don't need it. Already so got it. Camera status off. I still hear a camera though. Oh, okay. I guess they play the sound. God damn. Shit. Jackpot. <gasps> yes. Working light switches. Stop or I'm going to shoot you. Uh-oh. Somebody saw me get stuck in the door. The stupid die young, chunk. The stupid die young, chunk. Nope, don't need it. He had a rocket launcher. Already got it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bertuzzi. Yes, a vintage Doom shirt. Stop, or I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, you watch out! Dumb dead bitch. Oh, Ryan Zalz, I already have a, I already have a deal worked out with my local priest. Jackpot. Turns out he's also a fan of the hit shooter sin, the hit shooter franchise. Soon to be gloriously revived with Phantom Fury. video game world is not ready, but they will have to be. Alright, let's see here. Okay, this camera's on for 
Killed himself. What the heck, man? This must be the dock, but it needs an access code. I guess you're gonna have to head up to the security area to get that code, unless you can find another way in. Already got it. Already got it. Okay. Control booth with something that doesn't do anything. This game rules. Dead. Dead dumb bitch. It's one of my favorites now. God, it's so stupid. Ah. Yeah, some of the complexity of these levels kind of reminds me of Goldeneye. Which, again, I was pleasantly surprised to remember just how intricate some of those levels were. Gentlemen, something something operations. Very generic announcement. Adds to the mood, though. It's a little harsh. Already got it. Uh, okay. Ah, you need the key to get down there. Okay. Okay, makes sense. I really hope I don't have to backtrack to that first area. Because if I do, I'm pretty sure I'm the stupid die young, chunk. Nope, don't rinsed out. We'll see how we'll see how this plays out though. Toby. Is this where it just was? No, it was a different dock. Still need the key though. was not a different dog. Gosh. Ugh. kind of trickle into the level every so often. Okay, that was storage house too. Uh. Already got it. Okay, yeah. I think I might have to backtrack. Maybe. to operating room. Yeah, that is what it sounds like. Maybe the, the two docks are identical? <gasps> dudes in the level constantly and I'm pretty sure this is 
Okay, so there are three docks. They all kind of have this layout. Oh, man. Oh, shucks. That means I haven't... I don't know if I've actually checked the this little room in all of them. It might just be a random key. Okay. Okay, so it's 22. I think there are, th yeah, three. Is locked. Why is the music so chill? Good question. This track was in Sin 1. I guess it's meant to be like stealth espionage. Okay. Try checking this. I don't think there's going to be anything up there, but. Never know. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing. Well, I guess that means we got an alarm on our hands. Maybe if I fire the perfect rocket, we'll fly down the hall and kill the people before they can set the alarm off. Instant. As soon as I get in here. Dancing on the tables to go unnoticed. Already got it. Nope. Don't need it. Stop, or I'm gonna shoot you. Oh. Already got it. Well, the stealth dream was a nice one. Blade. Whoa. Blade, talk to me. Blades down. Yeah, Brandon. What's more what's more rock and roll than just drilling drilling bullets directly into the head of a conga line of dudes of mafia goons as they round the corner. Doesn't get better than that. God damn shit. Great idea, Blade. Dancing on the tables. Yeah, it's it's totally this dude. Oh, okay. Whew. They're starting to use the monster closets. Doors that pop open for guys to run out. Already got it. Evolution of design. Cleaning up the gene pool. Already got it. Already got it. I don't. It still doesn't read good. It's still, just not a good thing to say. It doesn't feel right. Mouth feels off. Yeah, not Italians. These are just hard-working blue-collar folk. Dock workers. Well, I guess they're like private security for a mafia shipping thing. So they're bad. Whatever. Oh, Already got it. Yeah, I got that key in the last level. 
never, never found a spot to use it. Or maybe I did and just didn't know it. Storage has more. What? Oh. No? Whatever, man. Already got it. Get bent. Get bent. Gooey loco candy. Look at this dude. That man has gone gooey loco. He's got a gooey dementia. The voice of a doomed generation. Crack cola. Nice. Gamers, am I right? I'm right. God damn it. <laughs> Dead. Dead dumb bitch. Already got it. Why do the guns look like they're made of jello? I'm going to guess because the 3D math on the uh, on the engine wasn't the tightest. It was probably never expected to run in a resolution this high, so any like mathematical wobble would just get lost in between the much fewer pixels. I'm going to make you my bitch. But now that it can render all those pixels, already got it. Some mathematical estimations were probably uh, becoming a lot more visible. Already, already got it. That's already my theory. Nope, don't need it. PlayStation had a lot of, like, polygon wobble, too. It makes me wonder if you, like, Quake 1, if you just straight ported that, would it still have the wobble? Because the remaster doesn't, but that may be because they tightened up all the graphics. I seem to remember Quake 1 being kind of wobbly in software rendering. But I didn't really see it much once I installed GL Quake. That's kind of neat. Scripted physics? Huh. That would be really cool if that could lead to, like, a new area to explore. Fall on me though. Uh, nice. Uh, uh. Damn, okay. Who knows how many uh, interactable bits I've not interactable with? Physics are out of control. Nope, don't need Enemies shoving boxes on me. Ugh. Hell yeah. It's been a while since we've had some babes. But I can take this one, right? Ah, uh, yes. This could prove useful. Could it? Also, of all the things for JC to not chime in on. Okay. 
Why I suck. Nice. Nice. Important stuff. Ooh! Okay, got the key card. Now I can go into all those sub tanks and all of the docks. I can't pick up important stuff. It's asking for a password. E. Ooh, and I got a key. Great. Okay. Maybe I'll find the password. Okay, so the long boxes can have items too. Oh, is Fook the password? Good man. Shadow. I think you might be right. H O O K. Whoa, look at that! Oh, Master Hacker. I love it. Captain Dr. Evil. Big Boy. Nice. Nice. Yeah, baby. One million dollars. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, God. All you had to do was reference a popular thing. So good. So good. A dark Jedi. 20 tons of crowbars. Nice. 50 cases of whoop ass. One beat up camera, fix me up. One, oh, one beat up Camaro. Car. Okay. One infinite improbability drive. Special orders for Zaphod Beeblebrock. Beeble what is that a reference to? God damn it, I know that. Know that that's uh oh that's um 42 hitchhiker's guide right yeah 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 okay that's a little classier ooh the ss ladonna classified oh tashi station 50 tons of power converters <laughs> Suk Lakai Walker. Uh. Are these the ones I already looked at? Okay. Oops. Incoming. The forest moon. Okay. Oh, you, wait, that doesn't change it. Okay, so it's just a bunch of memes and stuff. Well, that's good. I'm glad, uh... That's a satisfying way to have the password and also a satisfying payoff. It's just a bunch of... tongue-in-cheek sort of fourth wall-breaking references. It's down my eyes, my content! <laughs> Rock and roll! I'm trying to remember where that other key area was. There was like another gate. man running away <laughs> oh my god pictures of his family are falling out of his wallet as he's scrambling for his life eat my shorts okay i guess 
all the like sub tank rooms are connected. Kicking in the doors and killing everyone. Another date with John Blade. Okay, I gotta remember there's. I can go even further down over here. Oh, wait, that's a uh, level transition. Hmm. Let me check this out. It's pretty deep. Oh? An even deeper, danker level transition. That's right. Barney Miller is back. Wow, that is the half-life. Uh-oh. That is absolutely Jason, the half-life thing. Problem here. I know, I know. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, damn it. Okay, hold on. Well, we're gonna die together, dude. Can I go down through here? I got it. JC, that was a close one. Well, now maybe you'll realize that I deserve a raise. Don't push your luck. Wait, I did that. That was me. What if, can I do it again? No. Okay, he's gone. Whatever. He's gonna learn. I taught him how to live, how to truly live. Jackpot! I'm Tyler Durdening the world here. As long as they're not holding a wrench. Oh, got the house teeth. Very excitable. Do I want to? What the? It's... Oh shit! Not again! I guess they're very there proud of their water tech. They blocked me out this time. I, I don't have access. I better think of something and quick, or I'm fish bait. I gotta admit, Blade, I'm out of ideas here. Oh. Good thinking, Blade. Go up. This 
cycle all the way through all of my important inventory items. Ugh. Damn, it's locked. So I'm like... I've kind of lost the context of anything that I'm doing. I'm just kind of like going forward and destroying things. All right, I'm in. Okay, I did it. <laughs> I made it to the docks. Hey, Zidonia. Good to see you. All right. I did not shut down localized security. Oh, well. On the waterfront, Blades found the right dock at last. Something big must be happening here. Time to get on board and find out what it is. Weren't you supposed to rescue some girl for some reason? Yes, she's on the boat. Jessica. The daughter of that dude from the other mission. Oh, I thought that was water. Yeah. I'm starting to think like Blade. My only regret is that it took me this long to start thinking like Blade. Activate Blade Vision. Oh, hell yeah. Tactical forklift. Oh yeah, you can shoot while you're driving too. Yeah, Brandon, forklift certified. You think you could be the CEO and commander of hardcore and not, not show the boys that you got some sweet moves on the forklift? It's a little thing called leadership. You try to get a grip of the rudest, crudest dudes. That's right. Barney Miller is back. That's why he keeps making those Barney Miller references. Really, he feels bad about Kavoris or whatever getting murdered, so he needs to put on a little uh, forklift show for the boys. Well, USO tour action. You can drive it off. You can. That rules. Cheesy poofs. At the end of the road, there will be cheesy poofs. Oh man. And Chip's a whore. Oh, no way. Maybe you gotta jump off the forklift. It's such a big rope, though. Imagine the hang time I'm gonna get. Ah! Damn it! Blade's always hurting his ankles. It's annoying. Be a tough guy. Yeah, cheesy poofs is from South Park too. When that show came out, man, it was it was rough. It was it just dominated like 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 boring white boy edgy humor because it was just everywhere for a while. Man, everybody was doing their little Cartman voices. 
Everyone's doing their Mr. Mackey. I don't think this is gonna work. They seem to like expressly not want me to jump on that. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you gotta jump from from something to get it. Hopefully me breaking the boxes didn't mess it up. South Park is all TikTok wants to show me whenever I open it. Really? Like the official thing or just people, clips that people put up? Ugh. Oh, it's so close. Oh, I could get such a mad swing. The clips with some mobile game under them? Oh, okay. So they'll put like a clip of something popular. Okay, I think I figured it out. Remember seeing a door up there? Yeah, I just didn't look. Alright, let's see. Can I hit the rope to rope? John Blade is so cool. <laughs> oh, bacon cake. Thank you for the sub. Oh, oh. <laughs> There's got to be something cool up there. You know there is. In that one crate. My vision goggles again. I guess if you didn't get them the first time, that'd actually be a pretty good item. Man, pinnacle gaming right there. You go check out this door over here. Oh. Look out for the sniper's blade. Ah. Hold on. This is a job for for night vision. Whee! Oh. Ah. I just jump on the boat. Get on board the ship, get inside the holds, find the girl. Kill the snipers. Find the girl. I'm looking for a little girl, you son of a bitch. Where's the little girl? There's nothing more valiant a man can do than save a little, a little girl. Especially when he consumes himself to do it. There's Romancelvania on your radar. I've, I've heard about it. It's certainly a neat concept. I'll probably check it out. You got a code to review it though? Yeah? Doing a little games journalism. Say I like it. In a cyber, fully cyberized voice. Oh man, these freaking doors. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a Castlevania dating sim. It's like uh, Metroidvania with a uh, dating sim layer, right? Which, yeah, I'm into that. Already got it. I could be, I, I might be describing it incorrectly, 
I'm not the one with the review code, so. Already got it. There are folks in chat that know more about it than I. I'm gonna make you my bitch. Love it. Is that a hubcap or a shield? Already got it. Nope, don't need it. No acknowledgement that I picked up the radio? Uh, bridge unit. Oh, there we go. Hey, bridge unit, come in. Um, uh, this is bridge unit. Go ahead. Hey, dude, this is Eddie down the cargo hole. Hey, we were wondering if you've seen any sign of that intruder yet. Oh, hey, Eddie. How's it going? No, we haven't seen any sign of him. Classic Blade. A caveman has redeemed a real trading card. So let's draw it. As soon as I remember where I put it. There it is. Oh, you've redeemed channel points to get a card. And here is your card right now. What we got? What? Mighty Final Fight. Oh yeah, this is like the super deformed... Super deformed NES Final Fight. I'm trying to read the bottom of his shoe. I think it... Does it just say cool? I think it says Capcom. Is that Tom Cruise? You know it. Look at his weird legs. They're like buff but squat at the same time. Here's your lore. The Mad Gear Gang has taken over Metro City and kidnapped Hagar's daughter Jessica. Oh my god. Where's the little girl? Hagar, Guy, and Cody have a mission to get Jessica and the city back. They must stop the gang leader's plans to marry her. Do you have what it takes to restore peace to Metro City? Challenge. How far can you go using only punch attacks? A novice to the end of Riverside, an intermediate to the end of Old Town, and a pro to the end of the factory. Little girl. Well, congratulations. We got more little girls to save. The little girl. God damn you. Where is she? Where's the kid, you son of a bitch? Don't you dare touch a hair on her head! Alright. Uh. Da, da, da. Let me take it down in my giveaway ledger. Every gang member in the 80s and 90s always wore leather spikes. Yeah, I fit. It, it seems like it was just all downwind of uh, the Road Warrior. I guess I don't know where that particular like barbarian aesthetic came from. Post-apocalyptic Mad Max gangs. Not a chance. But yeah, I love the merging of that with the idea that inner cities in America have Damn. just fully become. This won't open. Maybe there's some way around it. Fully become like a idea. Mad uh -oh. Max style post apocalypse. This is Bridge Crew. Come in, over. Bridge, this is Eddie. Over. Uh, hey, Eddie. We made some coffee. You want to open the door? I've got a thermos for you. Over. Hey, that sounds good. Over. Jesus. Uh, Jesus. The stupid die young, chump. We just wanted some coffee. Wow, a fresh thermos of coffee just for me. Why haven't these detonated? Oops.
so clinkety clankety in here. A lot of cyber noise. That I agree with. Pounding and thrumming cyber noise. Uh. Should I not have done that? Oh. Huh. Oh, there's like a whole bottom part of the boat you can. Ah! Rats down here, of course there are. Okay, get down here and like cyber stealth some dudes. Maybe that's another way to get in here? Aside from pranking Eddie and then shooting him in the face. And then telling him he's a stupid idiot. Yeah, I guess this is where I, where I shot him. Yeah, okay. to the random cheesy poofs. Oh, there she is. The girl. God damn you. Tug her up like an animal. Yeah, I forgot. There's like a. Where's the jetpack? Is that it? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, she's up there. She's fine. Blake! Blake, talk to me! Are you looking at me? Come here. I think it died exactly as I did. Oh, I... Man, when did I pick up a sniper? I do need to watch out for the bio slime. Go Spartan, you're correct. The bio slime did get me that time. Oh girl. Blade's fatherly instincts are kicking in. hit by one of the very first bio slimes. Yikes. And 70 more rockets. Rock and roll. 
be a ladder in here or something? Are they just hiding? Oh, there is a ladder. Okay. Hold on. Let me go. Let me go scope out this this babe. She's a babe now that she's been rescued. Before that, she was a, a beautiful princess damsel. Hold on a second. I gotta. I gotta, I gotta pass a few things through auto mod. Okay, she's got some curves. She might be the president's daughter, but she's Already grown need up. Need a woman grown. Dang it. Ooh, dev off. Thanks for the sub. Sin is the real babe. Now that I agree with. That I agree with completely. Hold on, I gotta turn on my... I think she's wearing like a striped shirt. There we go. Okay. Pretty respectable. It's got a wide neck, but... Uh, got some mom jeans going. Caveman has gifted five subs. Wow, she's... Wow! It's okay, miss. You're safe now. Oh, thank you. The first thing JC said was I'm here to rescue you, miss. Oh, that thigh gap, too. It's time for Blade to debrief Jessica. Get your mind out of the gutter. What? I don't know what they're talking about. I am going to respectfully converse. Might be looking at some of those polygons. If you catch my drift. Oh, I think you okay, do. Okay, Jessica, take it from the top. Why were you kidnapped? It was because of my father. He was the lead scientist at Syntech Industries when Alexis milk? was conducting her U4 research. Monero wanted that research for his own evil purposes, so he kidnapped me to force my father to work for him. Do you have any idea what Monero is planning? I did overhear a few things. I know he's been asking my father to alter the U4 chemical agents, so it brings people it mutates under his complete control. Also, they've been refining it for something else. Something big. I kept hearing talk he's of pacing. crushing the city and reigning chaos. Hmm. This doesn't sound good at all. Monero's been a power-hungry bastard for quite some time. I should have expected this eventually. Is there anything else you can think of? That's about it. There's not much more. Wait a minute. Some of his thugs were joking about visiting a rock collection at the Freeport Art Museum. Visiting? Yeah, right. A heist, most likely. When? I think today. JC? Already ahead of you, boss. I'm checking. Uh, I'm not getting any readings on their security systems at all, man. It's it's like they're not even there. Shit! It's already started. Shot. Get the truck ready. I'm headed down there now. Damn. Lady... You don't think I could persuade you to wait for backup, could I? Uh, no, not you. Never mind. Hmm. It's already happening. Something of a paradox. See? These levels are getting more intelligent, just like John Blade. Monero's taking down the art museum. What next? He's got to be stopped now. Blade's going in without backup. Again. Ah, I see you've got the new plasma bow. Plasma bow! Yeah, I thought I'd put it through its paces. Okay, Blade. Now, I know you're not used to this, but this is a place of social culture, and not to mention some rather expensive art collections. Yo, watch the aim, since we don't have that much money in the budget to cover you shooting everything in sight. Jeez, everyone's a critic. Prevent robbery, avoid destroying art. Yeah, we'll see about that. Finally got my cyber bow, aka Cybo. Two games that have cyber bows. Three games that have. Seeing tonight, are we, sir? Would you like a white wine or a red wine? Come on, man, go in there and get to work. Uh, I was gonna say Destiny and Sin, but then I remembered Prey. The first Prey had a bow, but it was a spiritual bow. It was not a cyber bow. What? Steph just made a noise of disgust. Do you see me having a... I have a plasma bow. In the game. 
Look at how cool I look in the game right now. With my plasma bow. I'm at the art museum. <laughs> Steph doesn't like the glasses. <laughs> She doesn't want me to look at her with the glasses. They're too st they're too powerful. Call for help. Help! No. They're too strong. Guys, my oh. Wait, are these good guys? They are. They were. Man, those guys sound like they're in some serious trouble. Well, then you better hurry, Blade. Already got it. Yeah, they do. They do sound like that. I wonder if you save them if they say something. Uh, uh. Art culture. Oh man, this game is going to have some good art in it. Not a little girl. No save. No dice, old man. Have some titties next time. Who the hell are these guys? I don't know, some rock band maybe? Uh. What are you talking about? There's some good art here. I'm feeling cultured. Enlightened, even. Inspired. This is why we play Sin. To look at the virtual art gallery where they just have green. You hear they have green down at the art gallery? Yeah, they have green now. Don't need it. Yeah, I do got whacked. Oh, got this weekend exhibits. Hmm. Terminal? Can't cyber hack? Lame. Ooh. Allie B, thanks for the sub. We appreciate you choosing to spend your, your your prime sub here. The squirrel. That dude must have been a coding genius. Figured out way figured out a way to like sort a database. Oh man, the squirrel, that guy's a legend. He retired on like $20 million in 1998. It's stuck. Eh. Well, I knew there was a reason I took off my glasses, and I'm glad to see that in the future. What? What the? Huh? Hey, what's going on here? JC! Well. Obviously, they've done something to the power, so go back to the offices and see if someone there can help. Why are you such a turd, JC? Why is he such a turd this time? Ow! Being awfully turdy. There's no need for the sass, JC. You're just putting friction into our everyday. Alright? This game does like cutting lights, though. So you gotta pull out that handy flashlight. Oh, Croja. No, I haven't seen the Sin anime yet, but I'm going to watch it on stream after I finish this expansion pack. Ooh, the Lost Sinclairs. Oh, man. Will I ever get rid of that bitch? Yes! I definitely want 
more art like we saw hey, in... Isn't that... Nah, it can't be him. Huh? In Alexis Sinclair's private estate. Is that the squirrel? I don't know. Maybe that's supposed to be a reference that I don't get. Dead dumb bitch. <laughs> Absolutely need to go see Alexis Sinclair's exhibit right now. Oh. Uh. What? You're mad at me? I mean, I thought he looked like a, a mafia goon, but I thought he was an employee. No? Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's some in here that are kind of like her uh her art style. Okay. Okay, so it was this. Yeah, I remember this one. So wait, did she does she paint? Are these her works? <laughs> Bring back fond memories of your beloved there, sweetie. JC, the closest you've ever come to love is a magazine in the bathroom. <laughs> I was kind of hoping they would have the, the dick. I think that's a lady bending over. Perhaps it is a female presenting her lady parts. We love those lady parts, don't we, fellas? I remember that. Her Klingon chair. Hmm. A starfish? <laughs> don't think too hard, Blade. Okay, so that's interesting. Oh, I haven't failed it yet. Maybe you get, like, you can break two things. Yeah, if you miss with this gun, then it causes a area of effect explosion. Which could then damage paintings. What's happened? It looks as if they've knocked out the power. The problem is the doors to the upper wings require power to open. But if you go out to the front of the museum, around the side there's a power shed. You should be able to turn the power back on. Here, you'll need this key to unlock the door. Okay. Hey, thanks. I'll come with you and see if I can help. Okay, I'm gone. Hey, thanks. I'll come with you and see if I can help. Oh man, we got Half-Life followers? Can you make it through the door? Can you make it through this door? Ooh. Oh! Oh! Ooh! Oh! I don't know where that, where that growl came from. Ugh. Ow! What the? Oh. He's down. Damn. He's already down. Oh, oh look at them all. <laughs> look at them all fucked up. I took his armor. Zip.
Uh, well, he almost made it to the very door he told me about. Damn. Uh, damn. my cyber eyes again. I have no idea who's shooting me. laser crossbow. It was, yes, but then I ran out of ammo. I think. Oh. Okay, well now the power's back on. I don't know what that does, though. She wouldn't say that one. All right, Cyber Bow is back out. Hey, Blade, there they are, man. Stop them before they get away. He's got a giant gem. Oh, man, he grabbed it. He's running with it. I guess nobody uses the door anymore. Hey, Blaine, I bet if you follow him, they'll take you straight to Monero. Good idea, JC, for once. I want to see the rest of this art. But I don't want to listen to this alarm. Follow goons. Avoid destroying heart. Hometown talent. Okay. I stole the diamond. Hopefully it's going to be used to, like, focus a laser rifle or something. It'll be like the Mr. Freeze gun. Next, the ceremony. Monero's goons tried to get away with the Paradox Diamond. Now Blade's hot on their trail, hoping they lead him right to Monero. But what lurks in the tunnels beneath the museum? That was like, the, the loading art was like a, a glowing eyed dude in a hood. Hey, it's that shipment I sent over here this oh yeah what's in here jackpot Ooh. okay maybe it is a physics gun it recharges this is the secret i got back into the sewers god damn it That's kind of weird, but I guess it'll never run out of ammo. 
Ah, oh boy. They do like their sewers. John R. Blade, the anti-Alexis, star-crossed lovers, you might say. Blade is down. I repeat, Blade is down. I took a lot of damage when I was dicking around with the, the shove gun. I didn't think it was going to matter, but it might matter now. Oh boy. Right oh. five health. Oh. Next, Monero's Tower. After taking in a brief sermon on the role of the hideous mutant in today's Freeport, Blade continues chasing down Monero's goons. So that was just like a whole side thing just to, just to kind of tease... No, there's health up there! Fuck! Just to tease uh, Alexis. That's okay, that's the whole reason we're playing this. They understand. Yo, boss! There goes Monero! No kidding, JC. You're a genius. Try using those perceptive talents of yours and get me on that train. Now, it's not going to be easy. I've checked the plans for the structure, and apparently Monero's Towers is a casino-slash-hotel-slash-evil-dude-hideout type of place. From the most recent records, it appears that Monero's been doing some serious reconstruction and re-engineering here. Uh, JC, just to remind you here, I need to get inside. Hey, easy there, Spartacus. You know, there are decaffeinated brands of coffee on the market. I said I was on it. They just keep bantering. They're just, just bantering, just slip slapping. That's music. Hey, what's up, you Compton? Good to see you. Yeah, Spartacus, infamous coffee fiend. Spartacus always wanted to get in places. A security crate. Damn. How do you enjoy your coffee? A lot of different ways. Uh, I was just sipping on a batch of cold brew I made a couple of days ago. But uh, I've been really enjoying iced pour over, where you basically like, you have like a filter on top and your grounds, you pour your hot water into it, and then it goes down into a glass that has ice in it. So it, it immediately cools your brew, making for a bright, f flavorful, crisp, Sort of a uh, sort of coffee experience. I I feel a little, I feel a little off because this batch of cold brew I made was not with the right coffees. This would be better for an espresso. Uh, it's even called an espresso roast, but uh, I grabbed the wrong bag. But now I have cold brew, so that's good. Speaking of, I'm gonna go re up. Actually, I need a snack. I need a snack. I've been streaming for a while. I'm gonna take a lunch break. I'm gonna be back with more sin. 
Got four, Final Fantasy XIV raids coming up in about two hours. That lasts for maybe three to four hours. And then after that, Resident Evil 4 on PC with the HD project and the Tramp Stamp mod installed. So good stuff today. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh-oh. That's weird. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it wasn't no signal. It was just black. Okay. Here's Mr. Squirrel. It's probably like a second before this dude got his fingers chomped. That's not me, by the way. All right. What have those sons of bitches done to that little girl? Actually, nothing. But maybe they, uh, maybe they injected her with something. Anyways, just to say. I'm chasing down Montero, that son of a bitch. A little girl, Montero, really? Skim of the year. Yeah, we got two pistols now. Above you are oxyacetylene. Just add a little lead and boom! Love him from the oven. What is this music? Vapors and voids? This is a flashback to your childhood? Oh my. I never played the, uh... I never played the expansion pack. Which is actually a pretty important game. Weirdly. Because some of this talent went on to make Call of Duty. Actually, I don't know for sure that it's like there was... There was a through mine of any... Anybody but... I think there was. Anyway, boobs. I love the fuck head. Heta? H E A T A for Prez. Yeah, I could really go for a cannoli right now. So I says to her, Damn! Oh, a security baby. calendar! Okay. Playing off of the security door line is actually pretty good. <gasps> can't take it though. Usually Blade swipes all the softcore erotica he comes across. Oh, that, that becomes my pistol. Okay. Or becomes my fists. All right. All right. Yeah, I can't take it. Not this time. Save her. I already saved Jessica. A little girl. Maybe she was somebody's little girl at some point. And my 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 father John Orr's bro R Blade the third. Am I the third? We only we've only ever heard about one other blade. Um Blade's mom. S Cynthia Blade, it was something like that. Gwendolyn Blade. Oh, she saved name. lives. Nope. And there was foul me. play involved with her death, potentially. Already got it. Yeah, I can really go for a cannoli right now. Another locked door. Damn, a security calendar. Yeah. This guy, Monero needs to get his boys some cannolis. Already got <laughs> Margaret Blade. Eudonia Blade. That looks like a cutscene waiting to happen. Eustace. Oh, Eugina Blade. Cleaning up the gene pool. Doesn't feel good. Don't like hearing it. Already got it. <laughs> Margaret Blade. Hey, Otis! What's up, man? Yo, yo! Trick, baby! Oh, he doesn't have anything to say? He's just- he's just cruising to this music. I don't blame him. Sounds great. Whoa! 
Oh. What the? Damn. You know, I wonder if this... I'm trying to think about game... Like, there's, of course, things like Ninja Gaiden and retro games that just have unlimited enemies. But what was the first... The first shooter to spawn enemies in a little room? Like, give them a little spawn airlock and then have them running through a door. Nope, already got it. I got the rocket jetpack again. You okay, Otis? Yeah, he's good. <clears throat> Halo? Halo, they came in on, like, dropships and stuff. Also, this was pre-Halo. Doom, probably. Doom had monster closets, but you couldn't spawn enemies in. So, Doom had a couple of tricks. But all of the, uh... So, Doom is kind of interesting. I'm glad you brought up Doom. Uh, you, you had to, like, have all the monsters spawned when the map spawned. So, you couldn't, like, generate enemies after the first load. So, the way that you would do it is you would have them, like, behind doors. Monster closets. But there had to be a physical space for them to, like, be in. Um, and then you would just let them out at a scripted time. Or you would have them in a room with, like, a, a teleporter. And then once you... You could, like, script enemies teleporting somewhere. So there would just be a room out floating in nowhere. That had, en like, little monster corrals. For all the monster waves you want. I mean, if if Sin 1 had a giant, two giant cock and balls at the end, I feel like it's only fitting. Ooh. Im impatience Lounge. That's my face on it as soon as I get to the Impatience Lounge. Nope, don't need it. All right, we got to go. We, we got to go back home. Gee, we got to go back home, Blade. Let's go. What? <laughs> There's no... There's no mommy dummy yet. Alexis has still been fully cyberized. God. Looks like lungs. I think it looks like a coffee bean. But it's a vagina. And about time. Oh, I have all these coins. Maybe I can, like... Okay, let me try to use a coin. It does not work. Yeah, so, Talius, uh, it's funny bringing up Medal of Honor. That is the next game that this studio made, 2015. Um, they got a contract based off mod work they did in Quake. Uh, they got awarded the contract for the expansion pack to Sin from Activision based on that mod. And then they, uh, they, got, they arranged the deal to make Medal of Honor. So, pretty wild stuff. But, yes, Medal of Honor and Call of Duty... I associate with being some of the first games that have infinitely spawning trash enemies. And that kind of being part of the level design is that there's certain, there's certain like scripted triggers you need to hit. You need to like cross certain points in the map, interact with certain things. And there will just be infinite enemies until then. And that really changes the way you approach the challenges. So that was one of the, the weirder things I remember about playing Call of Duty on harder difficulties when I was younger. Uh, is that, oh, damn, like, you have to change the way that you used to think about shooters based on the way that they did it. Like, you had to be much more aggressive about moving up and basically just doing that. And then kind of abusing the fact that the AI would move around to create a cinematic environment, not necessarily a difficult video game environment. So I remember also moving up, and if you were too close to AI's cover, they would actually retreat. Uh, so you could kind of push them back. So it was just designed to, to create this, like, moving line of engagement, which, again, was really clever. And I think kind of the cusp of really 
of game mechanics that really... Oh, these wavy guns are so fun to look at. <clears throat> it's like a lava lamp. <clears throat> Games where not only the scripted aspect of it was illusionary, um, but also even the mechanics were illusionary. Like they were telling you cooler things were happening than were actually happening. Or that, that like all the game's rules are just designed to create these scenarios as opposed to being like internally interesting and consistent. Luckily for Call of Duty, it was still kind of interesting to play even when you learned that. It did change it though. What? What? Hey! Aw oh, man, I wanted to talk to the bartender. I thought we were cool. Is everybody gonna reset after a minute or are they just permanently scared now? Man, I was gonna have a cool little interaction. Figured there was like a fork and a knife here to kind of make you stand here. Now everyone's freaked out. Do you see what you did? Do you see? Already got it. Already got it. Everything was chill. Shit. I don't know the last time I quick saved. Oh, okay. Maybe I just need to not have my guns out. Before, when I punched these dudes. I love the bust heads. Oh my God, don't kill me. You scared them all again. Nope, don't need it. I'm wondering if I like run up and just wallop this dude. Is anyone else gonna react? Yeah, I think the act of somebody dying nope, freaks don't everybody out. Heard any good gossip lately? Man, that back. All right, well. Let me see if I can... Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's nothing. It's probably nothing. Maybe just... No. Dang it. Nope, don't need it. Brutal. Ooh. What? <laughs> Six sodas. That's awesome. <laughs> that's all that's back here? Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, some kid could see this. Gotta protect and serve. Good job, Blade. Whoop. Could, could see this. He says in the manager's office behind a casino bar. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that I can't use the coin. Should watch Ross's game dungeon on Sin. I think he has a fix for wavy guns. I am not interested. I like the wavy guns. Another locked door. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, are you really gaming if you're... What's the matter with you? Guns aren't made out of jello. Ow. Jeez. Oh! I'm gonna make you my bitch. Already got it. No reason for me to go in there. For the slot machines, maybe? Maybe. I didn't even try that, did I? Already mm. got it. No, no reason for me it. to go in there. If it's for the slot machines, then surely it's... <laughs> the sun. Then surely it's scripted to, like, win after one or two, right? Let's see. No, oh, use item doesn't do anything. Well, 
he can pull the lever, and that's pretty cool. Okay. Blade blew his way through Monero's initial greeting party. But the internal security seems unaware. You should be able to get about freely for a while as long as you don't have a or wave a weapon around. Okay. Okay, Blade. Immersive sim. Monero security is very tight here. From what I can tell, he's placed guard posts behind the main casino walls. Now, if at all possible, try to find a way into the security area other than a firefight. There are way too many civilians in here for that. I love it when shooters go like mini adventure mode and it's like a environmental puzzle you have to have to do. This music is such a weird change of pace too. This game is thematically all over the place. I love it. Can you interact with anybody? That's okay. I'll just take in the atmosphere. Uh, what's the matter with you? What's the matter, you? I love the bust head. Damn. Those spherical titties. God bless. A breast should be an orb. Perfectly round. Shiny. Like crystal balls. Let sound. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, ladies. I'm investigating. You never know where a key card might be. Also, I like feet. Show me your feet. I'm just sizing him up. Hey there, pal. Nice cock. Now that one actually looks a little too small for a player. Flushing some lady turds. That's the manliest thing a man can do. It's like, it's like getting rid of a bug times ten. If you can, if you have a delicate lady who's run into a turd she can't flush, you take care of that for her. Man, it's like fixing the car times twenty. I love the bust heads. What's up, sweet cheeks? Right What's now. up, dull face? Okay. Back in a stage show, I guess? Oh. They're just standing there in the dark. How many polygons we got? 20? 22? Hey, I'll make it work. Here's the problem. You want horny level at 10 and you're giving me like 20 polygons. Oh, baby. Gaming. This is gaming right here. Not a hair, in, not a hair out of place. <laughs> hey there, mister. Oh, good God. Ugh. Are you at me? Come here. They're pinching so hard. It won't move. Oh, can't get into the... Can't get into the women's dressing room. Oh! Oh, I thought they were lifting weights. Hey, who are you? All right. We know what's going to happen, right? I'm going to go up that ladder, and there's going to be a vent into the ladies' dressing room. There's going to be more dancers in there. I just hope they don't get mad at me if I, like, bonk into them. Hey, who are you? 
Getting out of the way, fellas. What's up with Mr. M today? By the way, have you found that necklace you lost yesterday? Well, okay. They showed an unusual amount of restraint. I don't even think that's the dressing room. Stealth. Everybody needed stealth. All right. Okay. Get to the penthouse. This looks like a way to a penthouse. Ooh. I blame Thief. Yeah, Thief was a pretty big deal. Oh. Dead. Oh. Dead dumb bitch. <laughs> That's cute. Health behind one of the doors, some drones behind so another. Simple, uh, what's the matter with you? I love some bust heads. Damn. <laughs> About to get bored, baby. So you look at oh. me. Oh. Wait, oh, wait, come in, Blade. I think I might be able to... I don't think I have my sniper or my my silencer anymore. No. Why did it switch to that? I think it's because I dropped a... Am I out of bullets? Maybe I'm out of bullets. I don't know if that camera's on. Initialized vault locks. Oh. So I can get into the vault? It wasn't fast enough. Just put the shit like on the eye line when you enter the room. Oh wait, it's another girly calendar. Yeah. So I says to her, "What's the matter with you?" No, I don't get to. Okay. Okay. What's that? What? Yeah, magazine and calendars are different, I think. Is this, I don't think that switch is any different. Oh. Okay, I guess each one is a separate. Oh, okay. So that's the one that I, I turn on from the... Uh, from the other computer. I gotta get through here. I don't have the items to do that. I think I need a key to go the other way. I beat Fatalis in Monster Hunter World? 
Oh man. Which one is I'm not sure I even did that one. I only just got to Sunbreak. We should pick that game back up. Already got it. Nope, don't need it. Already got Uh-oh. Nope, don't need it. Nope, don't already got it. Well, no one's hit an alarm yet. Nope, don't need it. Wait a minute. Who's that? Ah, rock and roll! Already got it. So stealthy. Nope, don't need it. Oh, it's the final monster in world. Okay, maybe I did. Uh, huh. Get master security clearance, get into the vault. Since I've murdered dudes, are you gonna... No? Okay. Yeah. Got those buns. These video game ladies are built for action. Okay, this is the other side of that. Hi. Are you looking at me? Come here. Everything cool? We're we're cool. I guess it's surely, surely the security card's in here, right? I love the bust heads. Yeah. Just talking about mafia stuff. Hey, who are you? I'm telling you, the lives of early NPCs are simple and blessed. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope. I thought they weren't gonna let me in here. Save. Oh! They're finally doing it. They finally did it. Why is she wash? She's showering in heels. Why is she cowering? Maybe that's like just how ladies. That's how ladies rinse themselves in Freeport City. That's how. That's just the custom here. That's just how people bathe. Yeah, you gotta get maximally soapy, and then you cower in fear in the shower. It's another day in Freeport, ladies. Oh. God, you're so muscular. So shapely. We got a problem. Dead. Dead dumb bitch. This level is becoming a little more chaotic. I really need you to. Oh, you gotta get it shut up. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Was this maybe that guy is special? Like if he gets alerted, or if he gets killed, maybe. What? If I can like run past him. Ah. Oh, that's good. You need to. Oh no. Okay. okay. What? What? Ah. Oh! oh, I need you to move. 
I don't know that I need to get back up there, but I, I think I might. What are you blind? Don't shoot Oh, he had the card. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Of course it was in the dressing room. She's just permacowering there. Just, just go in there. Just go in. Are these guys gonna be cool? Yeah, <laughs> they're cool. Oh. Come to Papa. Got the coins. Oh, baby. All right. Rockin'. A little mini Alexis. <laughs> Score. Okay, so okay. I need to run from the wherever that terminal was to here. Oh, it's through security, I think. Yeah, it was okay. That I may need to get up into the crawl space for. Wait, I have the security card now. I gotta get buzzed in. Is that how that works? Are you looking at me? Come here. Oh, you're gonna get it. Maybe I can just shove with this thing? How is your, how is your collision box so large? Damn! Already got it. What are you blind? Don't shoot them. I want to see what's in that that safe. Maybe if I like shoot again, she'll move. Move. Already, 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 nope, don't need it. Uh, I think I have to. I think I have to. I think I have to just move. Wait, what are you doing, man? Those are friendly. I know. I didn't like it. Oh wow, you can just bash yourself out. There's this thing too. What is I don't know what this does. It sounded like something open. I love the bust heads. I don't think I can... Yeah, I don't have that card yet. Yeah, okay. So it's this thing. Man. I still can't... Okay, there we go. Ugh. What the fuck? Uh. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, now that's open. Jeez. I think I was hitting it twice every time. What the fuck?
I don't think these do anything. What? Is it, okay. Maybe it's one door, one button opens and the other one closes. They intend for you to run out. Let me hit this one first. Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, but that doesn't give me anything. What? I guess you take a left, and then there, and then the door. Oh, the switch in the and the. Okay, you can hit the switch and then run back through the vents. That's faster. I mean, I'm gonna assume that that switch also opens the the safe, which I also still would have had to kill that poor lady for. Blade. Okay, Blade can't go back up that ramp. me no way <laughs> he's on the other side of the door what do I do are you look at me come here Hear the door closing. Is he gonna come back out? Oh, come on! Now you've taken that cowering here too? Dude. Now oh, the push gun murders. And if I pull out a gun, I have a feeling they're gonna freak out on me. Oh! I can't kill him without it, I think, triggering the alarm. So I have to, I gotta, I gotta beat up that other lady. That might fail, that might fail it for me, I don't know. Ah. Wait, what are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I forgot what's over here. Oh yeah, you can just kind of... Wait, what's, what's over here? have to alert security if you come down here because there's a drone just waiting for you? Weird. Weird. Listen, Phi Light, I know how it looks so I said to, uh, what? of me uh, punching a naked woman to death as soon as you open the stream. I'm about to do it again. Uh, it worries me that they all ran to the door like that. I don't want to do it. Don't look. Hey, easy does it, psycho.
This is why it's hard to be a gamer. One of many reasons. Bada bing, bada boom, hey. Forget about it, hey. Okay. There's like a spider, there's a spider bot inside the safe. I love the bust heads. I'm not allowed to pull out a gun. I can punch. Son of a bitch! Okay. Come to Papa. This is money. Got it. Oh, okay, and the key card. You have to get that though. How would you... How... How would you possibly get through that? Already got it. Already got it. Without alerting security. What is... What are these monsters thinking? Oh, no. Cameras are operating, really. I stood in front of another one and it didn't set off an alarm or anything. That's fine, I've sort of resigned myself to the alarm being triggered at this point. Anyway, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing today? Everybody having a good day? Called me a rat fink. Already got it. Already got it. And he still wants a cannoli. Hey, oh, hey. Can't shit off your camera. Luckily, I'm an expert. Oh, woke up with a fever. Ugh. Waking up with like a headache or a fever or something is just the worst. Whew. The hounds have been released. I've woken up with a migraine before and it just straight up felt like it was, felt like I was a different person all day. Already got it. Already got it. Very weird sensation. Very unpleasant. Okay. Well, you know, I minimize civilian casualties somehow. Ooh, just finished a round of froth. That sounds engaging. After a fun romp through the casino, Blades ready to make a house call. They're probably expecting the visit by now, but that'll make it all the more fun. Huh. So I wonder if you had avoided alerting security. If that would be any different. Solomon Arrow. Recover Paradox Diamond. Well, I did loot the freaking thing. JC. JC, do you copy? Damn, damn, it's it's damn, it's locked. Damn, 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 damn. Damn. Ooh.
hear the opera music again. Does that mean Alexis is coming back? Doing whippets by the fire. There we go. Damn. Damn, damn. Damn it. Damn. Blade always knows what to say. I'm telling you, that back titty. Oh, the wheel! Oh! The water all slurped out and it broke the TV, taking your boobs away. Oh, that's great. Now that's an, an interactable environment. That's environmental storytelling right there. The water all splishing out. Oh, man. Hold on, though. We gotta examine this. And finer detail. Ugh. Ugh. All right, Just get on my couch here. Prepare to watch my evening shows. On Wednesday, they show her from the front. That's so cool though, hold on. Oh! And it breaks these two, I think? No? Okay, that was just the, the robot. It won't move. Oh, it's sparkling me. I'm getting sparked up, I think. Yeah, nice! Yes, exactly, Mary Murderous. The mixture of high ambitions and low res graphics and tech that force you to fill in the blanks. There's something very charming about, like, about, yeah, move. the earnest desire to recreate real-life scenarios. And then also those mixing with just, like, a 13-year-old sexuality is so... something so dumb about it. Campy. Ooh. Again, it's the, it's the spitting image of, like, action movies in the 80s that just had gratuitous tits. Anything made by cannon. Who's your daddy? Already got it. Oh man. It's her pass card. Ooh. They got all these light switches. All these environments that are ostensibly used in Already everyday died. life, not in video game life. I hate the phrase 13 year old sexuality, but I understand it. Yeah, I could probably phrase that better. <laughs> Speaking of. But yeah, it's just like horny, specifically male teenager. Like whatever scribbles they have on the back of their books. Oh! I mean, this is a pretty cool diamond observation room. Hey, what's up, Aussie Maniac? There's something charming about seeing the silhouette of titties from behind. Really, I think it's any angle in which you're normally not seeing titties to suddenly see titties. It's always a delight. From the side, from behind, from under, from above, from any obscure or oblique angle. Oh, okay. This also does the Half-Life thing where the same number is bound to, like, groups of guns. Have we seen titties from in between? Well, that's close to, close to a particular range, but that's more Grand Theft Auto's thing. We have seen Total Recall's triple boob, so that's a, a titty in between titties. 
There's also the first person shots from like, like I said, Xenoblade and, and Sin episodes. Hey boss, boss, come in man. What the hell's going on down there? Tin cans with attitude is what? It's a good thing you took care of them. We need to find out what Monero's up to while you're here. So look around and see if you can find a terminal I could hack into. A hacking terminal, you say? <laughs> what? Oh, this is... That's right. This is Manolo's place. Makes sense it'd be a little tawdry. Alright. Here you go, JC. Nope. Guys like boobs so much, then balk at getting their own installed. That's kind of what I don't understand. Is, uh... Why would you have any problem with, uh... With any kind of hormone therapy, if it means that people are trying to... Trying to cultivate some sweet titties. It's not for me, but I understand it. Thank God bless. I hope your boobs rock. back to sin oh yes yes we are I have to find a terminal for JC to hack into ah this is the expansion pack wages of sin made by 2015 their first retail game uh, before they made Medal of Honor and then part of the dev team left to make to found Infinity Ward and make Call of Duty. So I've been really enjoying it so far. A lot of like cool map making and more more of the like explorable scripted environmental stuff. A lot of uh, a lot of daring ideas. Flushable toilets. Who's got carpet in their bathroom? Ugh. <laughs> Got a little forest here. I still have to find a terminal for JC to hack. The boardroom where the buttons at the head of the long table? Oh, probably. What if they open up like trap doors? Some of these quarterly results are off. Oh, yeah. Good spot. <laughs> so sick. Gentlemen, I think you'll find my selection enthralling. Okay. Now there was the the special button. What's this going to be about? Oh. It is the quarter quarterly earnings were off button. Jeez. I lost a lot of health. There we go. It was on grenade launcher mode and not machine gun mode. Well, that was certainly a special button. I'm pretty low health, but whatever. Okay, still gotta find a terminal. Well, I guess that... What is that one in the lobby? This one? 
No. Not cyber enough. My babe room. That's where I come to look at my babes. I have all these tapes filled with babes and I bring them up to my babe room and I just watch them. Makes me happy. <laughs> the trimming down staff button. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what is... I don't think I, okay, didn't go in here. Oh! What's this? What? With love, Alexis. She's connected to Monero? Wow, he has a lot of porn. It's just like whole stacks. Of course, he's, a, he's an Alexis. Simp. Of course. It's different though. It's different with me and her. It's different. There's a respect there. <gasps> Debutante? Ah, could have been debutaint. I mean, that's not the Boris though, actually. That's pretty good wordplay. Oh, here we go. Oh, ladies. Cleaning up the gene pool. Oh, now they're all scared. Do you see what you did? Already got Do you it. see what you did? The soapy ladies are all afraid now. Jeez. It just looks... It's its tasteless to ogle them now. It was fine before. Now you've made it weird. God. Yeah, they're real soapy. They're all soaped up. Oh, God. So she's just like fire hosing you while you're in the, the tub? <laughs> the babes are cowering, Blade. Somebody's got to put them at ease. Already got it. Babes, relax. I mean, this is a fancy, fancy spot. I think I found something, JC. Yeah, this is what I need. Now enter my upload program. My upload program. Okay, it's in. I'm already in like Flynn, boss. Well, JC? Hey, hold your panties. I'm getting there. Okay, I found his hidden files. Hmm. Whoa. Blade, this guy is doing some pretty freaky shit here. What's the story? He's altering you four to genetically engineer these Goliath mutants. What? Super mutants? <laughs> yeah, and it's all here too. DNA test results, prototype sampling, even initial you specimens. You bastard! Jeez, Blade, this Monero clown is a certified wacko, dude. We got it. We got all the evidence. We got all the emails. Oh! I Is found one of the canisters Alexis? you were looking for. Yeah, okay. I think so. I have a third of four. All right. Canister three found. Alexis's cyberized babe ego was split into four digi parts. I bet this is how Monero got down. Good work, JC. I'm going in. And I'll be in contact now they're trying soon. to like the Dragon Balls. It's like Dragon Ball, except you get a smoking hot dominatrix bimbo babe when you collect all the pieces. Cyberized, too. She could just, like, walk out onto your desktop and be like, hey there, big stuff. Do you want to buy Sin DLC? <laughs> you know I do. Click, click. You always know what I want, Alexis. Huh. Oh, they're hopping. They're going for it. What is this? Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? Actually, wait, that was Sledgehammer. Oh, 
playing Halo multiplayer. <laughs> oh, right, train. It's a convenient excuse to load me into just a completely other environment. See, that's the thing, Mary Murderous. Yeah. She's, she's got the aesthetic of a bimbo. Mostly the latex and the, like, curves. And the makeup. But she is very devious and intelligent. So we have to consider that. So I don't know. I'm I'm hoping that the low intelligence aspect of, of Bimbodom. It, she's a wacky bitch. I guess there's that. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Bimbo is more a state of mind. Okay. I, I associated it with physical, but... A hot intellectual. A sapiosexual, if you will. Aish. Bombshell? Is that fitting? I feel like that's close, but not quite. Also because there's a character who's called Bombshell in Sin Universe now. Did you find the room in the mansion level in the main game where you can watch her masturbate in her hot tub on a camera? No! Damn it, I did not find that. She really rubs one out, huh? Good for her. Blade has found the way to Monero's secret lab. It's time to shut this bastard down. Permanently. Somebody mentioned that, but no, I didn't find it. Okay, JC. Where the hell am I? From what I can tell, you're pretty deep underground. About three miles from the casino towards the coast of Freeport Bay. Hmm. Then this is probably Monero's facility where he's doing his dirty work. Well, he's got to be in here somewhere. We need to find him so we can shut him down. If he releases these super mutants into the city, Freeport won't stand a chance. Guess it's up to me then. Good thing I brought my imported can of kick-ass. That's, that's not domestic kick-ass? Oh, and one more thing. Jessica told me that while she was in that facility one time, she was able to hide a technician's uniform in a vent near the underground tram entrance. You should try to find it. Hmm, all right. Vent near the underground tram entrance. Hello, Vent. Hello, costume. And I cannot. Hmm. Dave C. Guess this guy won't mind if I borrow this. Hey, that could definitely make you a bit less conspicuous. Do I have to use it? I did get the Chaos Emerald, the Paradox Diamond. Excuse me. Probably wearing okay, it. You can go on through. I am. Never mind the giant tear on my bicep. He's over here. Turrets off. All right. He's over here. This is a role play. Role play section. What is this? Game. The freak show. Yeah. Perhaps you should consider joining him. Those things are ugly. What the hell are they? I, I don't know. I've never seen it, anything like them before. Oh, damn. Everything's fine. Come to Papa. Oh. Oh. Cleaning up the gene pool. It's a robot blade. Damn, I have nine health. Damn. Okay, you can go on through. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you. 
What the hell is that thing? Oh, man. He's using innocent people, Blade. These people just don't know when to leave well enough alone. Man, we gotta try and free him, Blade. He's infecting our babes. Wasn't there a Duke Nukem game where you try to... Where it's like... I don't know, you gotta save... Well, I guess you have to save babes in all of them. But I thought it was part of the... Like, the main part of the story. Was that the alien stole all of our babes. Yeah, Planet of the Babes. Was that it? I've never played a Duke Nukem expansion. There's like, what? Nuclear... There's like one that's like in Hawaii or something like that? Nuclear Meltdown? Oh, it is Sin in Time Charlie. You know it. Damn, it's locked. Damn. It's not, though. It move. Just a Tight, tight quarters here. Pull the camera in. You mind if I have that? Get out of here. You gonna finish oh, that? Oh, thank God. She's confused. really cool about this. She did it. I'm a hero. Man. John Blade can do it all. Budget cuts, yeah. There's been some layoffs, so Damn, it's no one gives a shit anymore. Everybody's just waiting to get laid off. God, are you John Blade? John R. Blade? General Sweetpants, hey, uh, I have not seen the movie to this game, but... Or the, the animated movie. Thanks, man. But it is on YouTube in its entirety. And I do intend on watching it after I finish this expansion. I am looking forward to that. Oh, crap, it's 5 o'clock. Run to safety. Guess what, it's raid time. I had to save all the hostages first. And I've been I've been enthralled by this story. I can't wait to see where it goes. Can't wait to see how they get Alexis back in the game. I'm gonna reunite all the Alexis balls, the Alexis canisters. But uh, but yeah, it's raid time. So if you never watched a raid on my stream before, it's just gonna get really cozily ADHD. Oh, I did it. Oh, they all they all got out of the level. They all got out of the level. There's going to be some random video showing. I'm going to be uh, getting spanked by a... Whoa! Oh! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! Blade! No, no! Talk to me, man! No, no! Blade. Uh, so yeah, raids... For a while, uh, there'll be some cozy video game music on in here too. And then after the raids, more Resident Evil 4. And I have the Tramp Stamp mod installed, so that'll be exciting. But it's time for MMO, hot MMO raid action. I'll be right back. Oh, 